Elden Ring. Elden, Elden Ring, Elden Ring, Elden Ring. Elden, Elden Ring, Elden Ring, Elden Ring. Elden, Elden Ring, Elden Ring, Elden Ring. Elden, Elden Ring, Elden Ring. Saw theme intensifies. Hello, Sally. Acorn. Why are they called acorns? When they should be acorns. Wow, look at me. You ever thought you'd see a knight with two katanas? Look at that windmill. And I know when that Elden Ring, that can only mean one thing. I know when that Elden Ring, yeah. That can only mean one thing. So full disclosure, I did one thing off stream and I kind of regret it because it was kind of like, it was pretty funny. But my cousin ha came over yesterday. He just happened to be into Elden Ring right now. And he told me to come here. And I said, eh, okay, I don't even know if I'm gonna play it again on stream. So I came here to this windmill village and there's these, these people just having mass hysteria. And it was really funny, like dancing and singing. I mean, it was weird and creepy, but it was like funny at the same time. Uh, hey Sally. Let me see, are they gonna attack me? Yeah. Like, I've not heard a laughing sound in this game. So I think that's what really threw me off the most, was the laughing. Like, as far as I know, I have not heard another character laugh at all, so that was just unexpected and somewhat disturbing. Oh, I have like a decent amount of uh, runes right now, because you know what? I probably stopped playing after we, uh, he led me up here and we fought this boss, and it was the guy that I hated so much, but he was like a lot easier. Uh, I, I couldn't even specifically tell you what was easier about him. I, it might just be he had less health and less attack. And maybe he didn't attack as aggressively. Uh, Sally says, do you like Among Us? You know what? I've never played it, but I have it. I got it for free on Epic some time ago. Weird laughing is a defining characteristic of Souls NPCs. Really? I, I don't think any of the NPCs... Well... I don't know, I've not heard laughing like that this whole game, but maybe I just got lucky. But, um... Yeah, um... Let me, let me look at my spells though, because I was talking to Fak about this yesterday, and I thought it looked like all of my spells were based on Faith instead of Arcane. But... He's saying that I wasn't looking at all of my spells. Oh! But these are also based on something I don't have. I'm trying to find something that's based on Arcane. I feel like anything magic should have a little bit of the points put into Arcane. Like, I feel like that's silly. Like, I'm so smart I can shoot a, a comet. Come on. Uh, but yeah, I was looking at all of these and once again... Mm, all of these are arcane zero. These ones are all faith. These ones are all intelligence. Uh, I haven't tried Fortnite either. Maybe one day. Um, if you want something that takes arcane, try killing some dragons. It's just like arcane is magic. So it's like... This should be like 20 intelligence, 10 arcane, or, or 20, whatever, you know, like, you could have the same amount of numbers, but like, put a little bit in, into the arcane. Famicom Detective Club Part 2, that sounds really obscure. Uh, so I can't do any, any spells that I have, I cannot do. I do not have any spells spells that I can do, unfortunately. 
Because we've, we've been putting into Arcane because of my bleed. I know that. So that's cool and all. Isn't there no reason for me to have any intelligence or faith? Like, does it actually, like, benefit me in any way right now? Aside from the fact that they're going towards things that I don't have enough of anyway? Can you have one intelligence, one faith? Or does that make your character just, like, shrivel into a... A heap. All right, I was supposed to level up. The whole point is I was looking at, uh... Buff my magic resist. Well, why don't we look, actually? Uh, that'd be an easy way. So, intelligence would be what, mind? No, I'm dumb. Intelligence is intelligence. Wow, my magic defense goes up by a whole two points. And for faith, nothing changes whatsoever, except I'm assuming you can use faith moves. So these really don't give me much, do they? Okay, intelligence does give me some magic defense. That's good, because there's lots of things that hit you with magic. But faith is not helping me whatsoever. And you said I could respect, right? I, I'm honestly wondering if I should just get rid of all my faith, because Otherwise, I would have to change my character completely if I wanted to start using faith moves. I don't think I'm going to do that. You know, Sally, I always wanted to read Nintendo Power. I always wanted to get it. I would always be like over at a friend's house and they would have GameCube games and in the manuals they'd be like, you know, use this, uh, register your game and you could get a free, like, two or three issues of Nintendo Power or whatever. And I was like, oh, that's awesome. I can't wait till I get a GameCube and I can do that. And then by the time I got a GameCube and I had a game that had that, they weren't, Nintendo Power wasn't like around anymore. Oh, you can't respect to below what you had. Darn. I mean, I did put some into strength that I could take away because I don't, it's not strength. Well, hang on a second. Strength is making my left armament. Oh, armament three. That might be my shield or my bow or something. Well, why would more strength make my crossbow stronger? That doesn't make any sense, does it? Uh, I haven't really needed more for FP because I don't have any spells I can use and you can only summon one spirit at a time. So yeah, there's no reason for me to upgrade my mind at this point. So I don't know, what do you think? Should I do some more arcane for the bleed or should I do some more dexterity for my just general power, which would make... Oh, a giant katana. Uh, is that like the uh, the katana, whatever it's called? Yeah, I'm not sure what I should put into right now, but I should probably just decide already so we can get going. Um. Uh. I'm thinking dexterity. Yeah, I like. I like the number 25 too. In fact, that's actually my second favorite number. I don't know if that's weird that I have a second favorite number, but number 25 specifically has always been my second favorite number. I've known that for a long time, like since I was little. Like, oh yeah, I like the number 25 a lot. It's not quite my favorite, but it's, it's, it's up there. Oh, 25. That's why you like it? Of course, I should have known. I should have known. Should probably look around here, I might. Well, those are just birds. I haven't been killing those anyways. I don't know what's all these buildings that just have no openings to them. What, what the heck? There seem to be a lot of those in this game. It's always Splendrob references. 
I feel like you're more likely to have more than one favorite number if you were, like, into math. But I'm not into math. I respect the idea of math. And I'm 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 kind of I'm I'm kind of decent when it comes to simple math, but anything that starts to like require a formula, that's just too beyond me, and I just can't. My brain can't do it. Hello, friends. Ooh, a gold firefly. I just realized how freaking huge they are, too. I didn't even think about that. Addition is technically a formula A plus B equals C. Uh, yeah. I feel like that's kind of stretching the definition, but sure. Wait, how did I get up here? Wait. Is this part of the madness? When you get up here, you can't go back down? I legit can't remember how I got up. Oh, never mind. I thought I was going crazy. There's another path. I thought I was slowly going to become the dancing, laughing women. I also don't know if maybe this is a reference to Ring Around the Rosies, because they're like they have those, like, red flowers everywhere. I guess they're, like, pinkish-reddish. And they're dancing around. I don't know. This is an interesting... This is an interesting place. I'm glad that my, my cousin just randomly told me about... The only reason he told me about it was because of the boss. I don't even think he was thinking about the village itself. That's what really got my attention, though. Like, what a bizarre place. I'm glad that I had saved here so I could talk about it a little bit. You were asking about FP earlier. You do use FP for summons, but the most I've seen is just over 100 or 104. Right, and that's if I even find a summon that costs that much that I also happen to like. My cousin was saying that he has like a marionette summon that I guess you find at that, that magic school, and I guess somehow I missed it. Probably because... I don't know if I was maybe a little underleveled for that part, but that the inside of that school was like really dangerous. I remember I was just kind of running past everything to, to get through to the boss as quickly as I could. Oleg. I haven't found Oleg yet. Oh, here we go. Stormhawk feather. I mean, that's something. Even if it's something I never use, that's all I ask for. Game, give me, give me something for my troubles once in a while. I really wish there was stuff on these rooftops. This is like an obvious place to put something, and there's there's just nothing there. Ah, there's something over here, looks like. Gold Rune 5, there we go, baby. Come on, put something in the chimney. It's so obvious. I think in Resident Evil 4 they do that too, if you get on top of like a rooftop and there's a chimney. Have I never touched this one? Oh, okay, I did. I was about to say, that'd be weird if I skipped that somehow. Alright, let's see. Uh, so I've been up there. I've not been up here yet. Um, there's a big tree right here that I also skipped past because I didn't want to like do 
too much crazy stuff off stream. Uh, I just was going to see this thing that my cousin wanted to show me. He just wanted to show me that the, the guy I hated, except I was able to kick his ass this time, so that was kind of satisfying. Why would there be? Who's putting items on rooftops? Well, who? There could be a dead body up there or something. There ain't no reason you gotta come up with some logical explanation. There's plenty of illogical stuff in this game. Oh, so there is a tree boss there, but it's not a regular tree boss. Also, there's more crazy dancing people here. Oh, explosive guys. Well, these guys actually aren't that bad. They might blow these people up though, unfortunately. Let's see if it makes them aggro. Oh my god. Well. Oh, I didn't realize that they didn't explode. They just got caught in the other explosions. I didn't do it. Oh, they're fighting, look. Oh yeah, I didn't do it. The exploding skeletons did it. That's what you get, whoops. That's what you get for blaming your troubles on me. Is there an explanation behind this village? Like, that's like the one thing about these games. I really wish there was, like, yeah, like, you don't have to go, like, crazy into depth, but I would like to know more about... Ooh, interesting. More stuff that probably doesn't benefit me. Twinned Night Swords. That sounds kind of cool, though. You could say that that dance party was a blast. Hmm, can you? I feel like I got, like, no souls from that. Hey Steven, what's up? How's it going? Uh... Alright. What was I doing again? Oh yeah, I was gonna check out that little, uh, this other crev- Oh! I already did. That's- That's here. So, is there anything else around here, then? doesn't look like it. Maybe it's just like a landmark. Well, there was that clothes I picked up. Twin swords are like two swords that take up one equipment slot, one when one hand. Really? Let me check out the stats on that. Because I, I can't find like more smithing stones that I need. Which is getting really annoying. My cousin thought that my swords were very under-upgraded. He was like, how come you've only upgraded them a few times? Well, not a few times, but only to like plus whatever they are. And I was telling him, because I don't have any smithing stones. I have like a million of smithing stones that I can't use yet. Um... Plus seven? I mean, that's a lot, isn't it? I don't know, my, my cousin was like, how come your sword isn't like plus 12? And I'm like, dude, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, critical 140, that's kind of sick. Fuck you, Zosh. Claymore. Great sword. Grafted blade great sword. Um Oh but the dex is so it's a it must be a really strong sword, but it's so low in dex that it doesn't really work. Oh I don't have enough strength to wield it. Anyways. How much strength do I have? Thirteen. Woof. Yeah, I can't even wield any of these. Nox flowing sword. Bloodhound's fang. Peeler. Potato peeler. Twin knight swords. Here we go. I don't have enough strength to wield this either. I guess I I have to stick with my katanas. 
Yeah. Which I like my katanas, so that's okay, but... I feel weird that I, I've gotten so many weapons, and I, I haven't... I'm still using my first weapon. Like, there's nothing that I have that's better for me yet. I feel like that's really weird. 725? What do you mean by that? 7 out of 25. Or are you... Are you ominously saying that on July 25th, that's when I will beat Elden Ring. Hmm. Oh, the katanas. I, I need smithing stone three, I'm pretty sure. That's the one that I I don't have. I don't know. Whoops. I keep thinking that square gives you more uh, information, but that's only in certain places. Hey, my dex is a B on my right hand katana. Uh, yeah, pretty sure I need smithing stone uh, three, plus three. And I don't have a single dang one of them. There we go. Yeah, I have two. Oh, wait. I have two threes. I must have got those recently. Because, like... Wow, I must have literally found these when I was like messing around showing my, like me and my cousin were looking at stuff. Cause I had none, I remember. Uh, I freaking eight and nine and I don't have any threes. Oh, these are like the somber ones. Okay, that's, I got mixed up. My bad, I don't have any threes. That's why I was, uh, confused. Anyway, let's go to that big tree. Yeah, my cousin said that the end of the game is where this big tree is, which was like, oh, that kind of makes sense. But I'm guessing you have to do a lot of stuff before you can properly, like, enter the final area. Um... Because he was acting like... He was like, what the heck, how are you here already? And I was like, dude, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. And I have a... Only reason I've done anything is because I have an actual guide in the chat that's like... You can go here for a boss, or you can go there for a... Wait, I don't want to go that way. I'm not far from a place I can unlock smithing stones at the Maiden Husks, really. That sounds promising. These ones aren't dancing. Why aren't you dancing? I don't like that noise. This is weird. They're the same, like, old ladies, but they're not dancing. Ow. Hmm, you'd think if a flaming arrow hit someone, it would hurt them. Hmm, funny how that happens. Ow. Wait. She bit herself. I wonder if that did something. Like, does that, like, buff her in some way? You'd think your, like, running slash, uh, light slash with your katana would be faster, but it isn't. I guess it's faster than your heavy slash, but it's like... I don't know. Oh! Spitting blood, okay. That's what that does. 
Oh, the offer bell bearing. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Poison grease. That was a big old mushroom. All right, we should be heading to that tree. The, the supposed tree box. Oh, I think there's this gold seed right there, which would give me enough for another flask. Unless you need like four an hour or something, which is possible. That'll make you think twice about walking away slowly. We, I think we should be able to upgrade our flask then next time we, uh... Oh yeah, for sure, yeah. I, I do want to know... Whoa, what is that? Dude, that looks like the demented nightmare version of, uh, Six. From Little Nightmares. Doesn't it? Because of the yellow and the gangly... Why did I think I could backstab you? Am I insane? Oh, we could summon here. Ow. That hurt. Okay. I feel like... Ow. That hurt. You know what, maybe I will summon. Go get them, wolves. Wolves. Oh, I left the summon area. A very specific summoning area. It already lost me somehow. Oh, the wolves are about to unspawn. Hope they could finish it off. Hey, nice. If we can't go too far that way. Oh, right. Isn't that the thing that kills you instantly? It's like the gold. Bad gold. Um, okay. And there was like another one over here, it looked like. It's an even bigger one. Oh, no. Is that the boss, maybe? I'm thinking that's the boss. I don't want to mess with the neck. Yep, sure is. Ow. Ow. Can't see it. Oh, come on. Where'd you come from? Damn, my, my potions heal for quite a bit at this point. That's cool. Oh, God. The gold. Where's the boss at? I can't see it. All I see is gold shrouding my screen. Stop spitting your gold on my my dogs okay it's like crawling around this is weird build up my stamina a little bit oh no am I dead don't tell me that's an insta kill oh right you're supposed to hit r1 or 2 or something ow that, that sucked it just like chewed on me a bunch Oh, I didn't even realize it was going for me there. Oh my god. This is probably the uh, the hardest to read attacks that I've seen in the entire game. It just kind of like falls on top of you. Oh, I do not like how it like follows the screen like an eye illusion kind of. I don't know if that makes sense. But like it seems like it like sticks to your screen in a way. Oh god. I was like standing in it. I need to like wait till that wears off, I think. Please don't kill my dog. I'm trying to stay away so the meter goes down, but my dog's gonna probably die.
Oh, see, it's building. Damn it. I, I, it was almost dead, too. I should have just waited a bit longer. But, I, it, like, that had, like, some extremely hard... Uh... Some extremely hard, um... I didn't even know there was a stake nearby. But, uh, okay. Really hard to read attacks on that. It might probably didn't help that it's, like, really dark right there, too. He killed the guy who gave me a flask. Oh, like he, like, it recovered one of my flasks. I guess I was doing lucky in the, in the start there, because the telegraphs, yeah. Like, I, I can't re read their telegraphs at all. It just seems like they just... It just gets you. Get rid of this. Oh, now it's lighter. It'll be a little bit easier to see at least now. Damn it, but I need my stuff. I thought I got rid of the check the marker. Oops. That was an accident. That was like loaded up in advance. Oh, god damn it. Alright, well, whatever. I, it's not even that I'm gonna need the healing potion, it's just if I need to make sure it doesn't poison me. The minions are really weak. Ow. It even kills its own minions sometimes. Like, I don't even know how I was building a light there. Like, there must have been some on the floor that I couldn't see. I don't know if it, like, constantly, like, leaves a trail in front of it, maybe. Ow. Yeah, it does seem like it leaves a trail of some kind. I just can't tell where it's coming from. Like, yeah, I just got a bunch right there, and I don't even know where it came from. Oh, it might have been from the smaller one, huh? Damn, my dogs are gonna die. Now that I've, I should have dealt with the smaller one first. I wasn't thinking it was gonna... It doesn't look like they could hurt each other, though. Ouch. It's weird, the blight just like appears. It seems like it just instantly materializes. Okay, it could just keep trying to grab me over and over. I don't agree with that. My day's going fine, Sally. Thank you for asking. I'm just trying to deal with this guy. Like, I don't get what's spawning it. It's just, it appears on the ground. <sighs> I mean, maybe the... Like, suddenly it was just like on the ground away from him. But yeah, maybe that's what it is. It's supposed to be falling onto the ground, but it's just... too close to him looks like he can see I I didn't even see any blight that time and it seems still seem to make my meter grow up this is a very weird status effect and now the little one sees me again it 
See how it like follow? It's like a 2D filter that like follows on the screen, but that it makes it even harder to see where the actual blight is. dead now because, okay, I don't know how I got away from it. How many times did he try to grab you? More than three. Oh, come on! He just keeps trying to grab you. <laughs> That's so annoying, man. Like, you missed the first time. Just be a good sport and let, let it go. <laughs> like, spamming. Oh. My dude, like, tried to grab me five times in a row until he just, get, he literally just, like, keeps getting to do it until he catches you, basically. A man grab spammer except usually you can punish people when they try to command grab you and they miss in this case he's allowed to do it over and over again until he catches you it's like it's like if zangief could just spam command grab and then you couldn't do anything to him when he misses I don't even see the blue check mark, so I don't know why it's... Oh, there we go. It was like an old one that was like throwing me off. If I dodge into him, does that mean he'll... Oh, my stuff's right here. Um, Does that mean he'll like... He'll stop trying to grab me? Alright, I'm gonna... Take care of the smaller one first. Oh, he actually stays stunned, too. Okay, okay. I don't know why that kept getting me. It's not like he specifically spat it in that line. But at least he's done. Gold-tinged excrement. Why is there so much gilded poop in this game? And is there actually a use for it, or are they just being silly? Is that a, is that a church where I could get like a tier? Usually that's what they look like, isn't it? Ow. Okay, that was a weaker enemy. Nomadic Warriors quick with 19. Uh oh, big one. Oh no! Oh come on! What was that? Wow, so it has an insta kill. Good to know. The only reason it's an insta-kill is because you get stunned in place while the blight just fills up, I guess, but still. However the case it turns to be... See what this guy has for me. Golden slam, what the heck? 
Freaking hip toss from Mario 64, a butt bounce from Pac-Man 3D. Uh, what else is? What else do they go by? Ground pound. Hip toss is always a funny one to me. It's like, how is that a hip toss? Yeah, can you stop barfing everywhere? I would appreciate that. Oh, the blight! Damn it, I didn't notice. Damn it, I, I don't know if it was like the grass was was like shrouding my vision of that, but I did not see the blight meter until it was too late. Maybe I could check out what that thing is that I just picked up. Doc says it's a holy butt stomp. We did pretty good that first time. I almost killed the boss. Like, that, that seems to be a recurring theme for me. If I don't get him the first time, then it becomes a problem. Maybe this is a move I'll finally be able to use? Let's see. If it's holy, I'll probably need faith, though. I'm guessing. Oh no, it's Ashes of War. You don't need stuff like that for that, do you? Grants affinities and skills to an armament. Jump up high into the air, crash down on the ground ahead, resulting in fall sends golden chakras in all directions. Wow. You do King Dedede's up B. Does that, is that actually uh, practical or is it just a silly thing? There was some more stuff in here. I'm trying to see if I could... I guess this wasn't one of those church places. Just more of these nasty guys to worry about. I need to find that giant one again. Oh, another dunk. Get out of here, you little... You know, I realized I never used the light attack on the horse. I probably should more often. I just realized because there he was not letting me get the heavy attack out. Two dung beetles? I'm not even moving. Oh, these ones just give you health and FP, right? Weird that they just happen to be sitting right here. He didn't give me any health. Oh, it refills the, uh, your flasks, I'm guessing. Oh, hey, hoodie. I'm glad you showed up since you voted for me to play this again. I'm pretty sure you were one of the people who voted. But. Uh, okay, where the hell... I'm gonna have to mark it on my map again, right? Oh, no, no, it's north. Okay, so north from here I should... Okay, there he is. Let me just get off my horse. Summon my wolves. I don't even know if this guy bleeds. I probably- I might be wasting... ...my efforts trying to make him bleed. Hard to tell. Ow. He does bleed, okay. I mean, it doesn't seem like I've been able to make him bleed once, and I was wailing on him quite a bit. Dude, can you stop turning to look at me? 
Let me get behind you, jerk. Ah, stupid freaking terrain. Whoa, did he like fall into the ground a bit? I don't know if he like, oh damn it. I didn't see what he was doing there. I made him bleed several, th okay, so he just has a lot of health then. Oh, okay, you know, I saw a big chunk there, you're right. There we go. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Okay. We killed the guy. Oh, we got a crystal tear. One of my wolves survived. Eh, eh. Sorry, no, we got a speckled tear and then a speck. Whatever, we, we got things. Um. What the hell is this guy on the ground? Just is he okay? Uh, hey Sam, I am. What was I? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so we just got two new of these things. What are they? Boost resistance and heal status in mixed physics. Resistance and heal status. What is heal status? Temporarily boost max HP. Hmm. If it temporarily boosts your max HP. So does your bar extend and then you lose the health and then it just takes away eventually the cap rather than making yeah I'm guessing that's what it is oh so if I'm about to okay that's good clears all your status effects basically is what you're saying Oops. cool and it boosts your resistance you want to know where the smithing stone bell bearing is? Yeah, that would probably be good so I can actually start upgrading my uh, swords some more. Since apparently they're under leveled. Right, like an active guardian sword hmm. Yeah, show me where that, that, that ball bearing is. So we can start sliding around all easy like. I feel like they should have added notes to where the smithing bells are. Yeah, like Hoodie, my cousin was over yesterday, he was looking at my character and he was like, why are your swords so underleveled? He was like, why are you, how did you get to this part of the game with this? these stats and I was like dude I don't know my friend fact was trolling me the whole time that's the only explanation I'm just kidding I, I wouldn't have been able to do any of the stuff I did if it wasn't for fact probably Fast travel out of here, so I'm safe. Uh, okay. How come this game uses the music from the Joker movie, huh? What's up with that? I didn't even realize that this was the closest spot. I haven't been here in forever. 
This guy has some stone sword keys, and he has a heater shield, which I heard is good. And there's a kite shield, which is even better than the heater shield by one point, yet it's cheaper only because it weighs a pound more? Yeah, what the heck? Everyone was telling me the heater shield's so good, but this scorpion kite shield's better for cheaper. And then there's a cross tree tower shield, which is even more better, but I don't, don't have enough strength to lift it. Also, I don't use shields anyway, so I guess this doesn't really apply to me. If you open your map, you should see a small pond outside the western edge of the main city. Oh yeah, well not even just the damage though, like... Wait. Oh, this one has more magic, this one has more fire, this one has more lightning and holy and guard boost. Sorry, uh... Small pond outside western edge of main city. Nothing that suits your taste. Shut up. Um, small pond off western. At, what's main city? The main is this the main city? I don't have a western edge unlocked yet, unfortunately. This? Is this a pond? Okay. So, I don't know why I don't have any uh, checkpoints over there, but we'll just... We'll just teleport right here. Oh! Damn it, why did I... I don't know why I keep doing that. I know West is on the left. I don't know why my brain did that. Outside of the city. So this, this must be the pond you're talking about. So, I'll just teleport here then. Wait, I just teleported right here, right? Okay. Well, it, that's not... I'm actually pretty close still. Can't use my horse. Oh, no, this is where you fight the giant, huh? And you can't do anything else here. So I do have to actually teleport again. Cave opening on the pond. Uh, brown and orange. Oh, is that what those are? I thought that was like a volcano or something. Okay, uh, bu 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 bu. Okay, you could say south and north. I don't know why my brain keeps mixing up east and west. It's honestly inexcusable. I need to get rid of all these checkpoints. I, I'm not used to being able to place more than one for the other ones. Uh, Is that a special big wolf? Kinda looks like it, huh? I just picked up a, a cheesecake. Whoops! Wrong button. Well, not the right button, but the wrong thing was equipped and then the wrong button. Oh boy. I was like on autopilot, but my autopilot couldn't decide whether or not to fight the wolf, so it was just... 
Oh, these guys. You're friends with the big guy that I don't like, so... He fell down, poor guy. Or kind of bad for him. I gotta go downhill. Downhill. Oh no, we're good. We're good, we're good. Hold on. There's a safe spot, like, nearby maybe? Oh no, the cave entrances usually have saves, don't they? like praying at a grave. I feel kind of bad. Sorry. Oh my god, did you see that? My dude did the backstab motion, but he dodged it. What the hell? How, How did that happen? Is that a thing that could just happen? You guys saw that, right? Because I, I don't know how to do a thrusting motion aside from that, and I did the R1. Huh. That happened because these games are bad. <laughs> this uh. Alright. Wait. Oh, down that way. I see. Wait, there's a church? Where's a church? That's a church you were just walking toward. Oh. I like how the one I thought was a church was just death. And then I didn't even realize that this one was a church. I, I can't focus on more thing at once. I was like, my brain was looking for cave. So when I was clearly by a church, it was like, this is nothing. Golden Order Seal? What the heck is that? And a Golden Centipede. And another Golden Centipede. And another Golden Centipede. What if they just kept coming? And another Golden Centipede. What the heck was that seal that I just picked up? I don't even know what category that would be in. I feel like they should just tell you what category an item is when you pick it up. Oh, here it is. Uh... Uh... It's a weapon? Used to cast incantations. I think usually the tears are right where I found this. So, uh... Oh, wait. Nope, another golden centipede. That aren't appearing. That's so bizarre. There's no glow or anything, they're just like... They're invisible pickups. It does tell you what category it is. It displays the symbol when you pick it up. I, I, I don't know what the symbol is, I guess. Uh, hey, Faze. Hey. I've never... If it says, like, what type of something is when you pick it up, I've never noticed. Because I guess I don't know what the symbol is supposed to mean. Missionary cookbook. Oh, it's usually in front of a statue. Okay. I don't know if this, uh, if this place has a statue like that. It just has a bunch of invisible items. All right, my golden seeds. I completely forgot about that. 
I don't see one of those, those statues in here, though, so I'm thinking that there isn't one. There's always crystal tier things around minor erd trees. Really? Uh, thanks, Demon Sweat. The sky dripped in a demon sweat. The night she left, wrapped up in a blanket. And I'm feeling wet. Oh, I need four now. So I need one more. I figured it was gonna start to get up to that soon. Oh, the physics stuff, right. Yeah, so far the bosses have always dropped it for me. But that is good to know that sometimes you just have to look around. I'm wrapped up in a blanket and I'm feeling wet. Said she flew from the goals in her life. That she wet like blood from the night. But I'm here. And it's all so clear now. A woo woo shoo doo. A woo woo. I bet you there's a, a safe spot right here I never hit up. Oh, that might be a golden seed that I never got. Let's see. There we go. There's our fourth golden. Wait, is it? Oh, maybe I did. Oh, I have been here. Let me make sure. Yep. Demon Sword, I was at this last stream. See, that's what my cousin was saying yesterday. He was like, "How? why are you here already? And I was like, what do you mean already? In fact, forced me to come here. He said, if I don't come here, then I'm, I'm not good enough as a, as a player. He peer pressured me. He bullied me into going up the lift. He said, honestly, the fact you haven't made it to the Atlas Plateau but before level 10 is just embarrassing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This usually means things are about to happen. You're sick. That's not good. Oh my god, there's some invisible thing down there. Is that a boss? I don't like that. I like that. The famous quote from Travis Touchdown. I like that. <laughs> Nobody knows what I'm talking about. Don't you guys remember when Travis famously said that? In that exact voice. Where'd the invisible thing go? Let me see here. I think it's gone. I think I missed it, whatever it was. It seems to have gotten away. Oh wait, there it is. Hmm. Is this a dung beetle? Like an invisible one? I can hear the dung beetle noise. I think it's bringing me into a trap. I don't know how I feel about this. How the hell am I supposed to catch up to this thing?
I'm trying to hit one footstep in front of it, but... I'm gonna wait for it to come back here. But these things are in the way. Let me get rid of these. I'm just gonna wait to come back through this tunnel. A lot of stamina now. Cause of you darn slugs. I can't even hit. All right, come on, you sparkly. Oh god, you freaking slugs ruining everything. All right, I'm gonna kill the rest of the slugs. Wait till it comes back again. can't target it either. Oh, come on. That didn't hit it. Unsheath R1, I'll try that. I can't get a single freaking hit on it. Okay, I'm pretty sure I went right through it. I know that fact. I'm trying to hit in front of the footsteps, but it keeps going through it. And once again, it went through it! Why don't I just freaking... God damn it, it was too late. But I was gonna like, why don't I just do this? And then I'll have like all these swings going around all over. Any enemy that was on the ground would be getting hit by those. So it's not like normally those other attacks wouldn't hit things low to the ground. There we go. Jesus. See, I just had to listen to myself. My own strategy. Brayer full strike. The Inspired Blow restores HP to the self and nearby allies if it hits. That's kind of sick, but it's only for axes and hammers, and I don't use those. Oh, well, at least I have this cool trading card now. Alright, time to enter the cave. I assume it's this way. Yep. Starting to get worried when it just looked like a wall. My name's not Skeleton. Once you rest at the side of Grayson Cave, you should see a little hanging campfire nearby. Then and only then. Shall you see that little hanging campfire? rest there so I could heal, get my FP back. I'm, I'm almost ready to level up. Should I just level up or should I wait until I uh, want to buy those stones? 
Well, I should have enough runes to just consume for that, honestly, right? Save the runes? Okay, I'll save them. I, I mean, I'll try to be careful not to die, because that's my main concern, is just dying and losing them. Whack the wall to the left. Oh, yeah, this looks like it's destructible. You can literally hear noises coming from it. Darn, I wish you hadn't told me just how to do it. You should have said, let's see if you can find the entrance. I think I could have figured that one out. Oh. <laughs> I expected it to crumble. Darn. I really think I could have figured that one out. I'm not even gonna let- Oh, you have a lot of health. Never mind. Nothing I could do to, to make you stop. Oh, I can only hit him once! I don't know what special effect he has, but it's not letting me get my multi-hits on him. I'm sure someone in the chat's going to inform me right now that there's some status, like, super armor or something, I don't know. Um... Invisible walls are a bit silly, yeah. Uh, doesn't have a lot of health, he's just hard. Sometimes there's illusionary wall illusionary walls in Souls games, they're extremely rare in this one. This is the first one I've encountered. Uh yeah, you said to hug the right wall. Like literally just stay. I don't know how literal you you're being. As in don't go left. There's a chest. You didn't say open the chest, so I'm... Oh god, is that stuff gonna poison me? Wait. Did I literally just do right instead of left? What the hell's wrong with my brain right now? Oh no, hug the right wall, okay. Oh, you can roll into the illusory walls, that's interesting. I know, I was just waiting for you to... to, uh... to, to tell me it was openable. I'm gonna fight these guys now. I don't fall down there. With your, your buddies, with your pals, with your friends. Hey, they're, e they're easily distracted, though. I was hoping he would, like, crumple after a while. I don't know if they use crumple in this game. That's like a Street Fighter lingo. Did you ever respond to me requesting you play The Sims? Oh god, which, which Sims? Sims busting out so I could go to work and get eaten by a giant plant. Oh god, that was actually poison. Are they mining for poison? These weirdos? Who mines for poison? They look like poison apples from Snow White. Oh, we'll unlock Smithy Stone 3 and 4 at the husk. Sweet. Oh, that's gonna help a lot. Thanks. Is Sims 4 like a recent one? Yeah, I never played any like the more advanced Sims games. I only ever played the very first one, like vanilla, because I... We just had it on disc for some reason for PC. And then I had Sims busting out for GameCube. 
And Sims isn't really that great to play on console just because it's you really need a mouse to play. But the gimmick on Sims busting out is you could actually go to your workplace. And I had a job as, a, as like a scientist and I got eaten by a giant plant at work. It was kind of sad, not gonna lie. Still getting new DLC, wow. Hey, he attacked me before I was able to attack him. That's cheating. Um... Oh, the herbs, Sims in the city. Oh God, I remember like seeing like maybe in a magazine, a game magazine or like the cover to the game and being like, this looks so silly. The herbs. Oh, I thought this was like a merchant for a second. So what does it mean when these guys are hard like this where they just don't, where you can't hit them with a weak attack without it bouncing off of them. Is there like a word for it? Like hard skinned or something? Tough skin, super armor. What? Is there like something in here? I don't know why this room just exists. Every GameSpot bargain bin was like 50% the herbs. Uh, striking weapons do more damage than slashing weapons. Wait a minute. By striking, they just mean like a blunt object? Like a club or something? I don't think I ever went up here, did I? There we go. I feel like you didn't really need to direct me there to that chest. I think we would have got to it eventually, but I appreciate the uh, direction. All right, let's go get them uh, sword upgrades. Rev up those fryers. Wait, what am I doing? That's not a teleport. Oh, roll into the wall behind the chest. Whoops. Sorry. Fax said I was good to go, so I didn't really look that hard. Once again. I went the wrong way, because I'm a genius. Look, you said I was good to go. This is a little guy. Oh my god. Well, there he goes. <laughs> Jesus. I don't know why he went flying like that, but... Oh, this... I'm gonna need my torch in here, aren't I? Whoops! <sighs> Juggled him with elevator tech. Yeah, that was on purpose. Just gotta put this down so that... When we come back, I don't need to wait for it. Well, that's obviously another one. I don't know. It feels like the, the illusionary walls like actually have a texture to them. I don't know if that's just a placebo going on in my head. Oh, man. think about this. Like, you could use that ladder to climb down, but then I wouldn't be able to get over here. There doesn't seem to be anything over there, but there could be like an illusionary wall. I mean, why would that root just be there for no reason unless it led to something, right? 
But then again, we already know that this game can be very arbitrary with this decision. Poison. Ow! Is that poison or is it just... I don't know what's up with that uh, white mist. I keep getting away from it because I feel like it's going to poison me, but I don't know if I'm just... Oh no, it's literally just just supposed to physically cloud my vision, but it's not doing a... I bled! Okay, I didn't expect that to happen. I don't think I've ever bled before. I just lost all my freaking runes. I really should have leveled up. I should have leveled up before I went in here. Why didn't I level up? Why didn't I level up? Why didn't I level up? Uh, I have enough runes to just consume that I could have just used that to buy the upgrades. I'm gonna lose these freaking runes. All I have to do is fall off that root and they're gone. I'm glad I remembered first. Well, uh, well, I want to explore the cave. I, I wouldn't want to just go in there part way. Screw it, I'm healing. I'm not messing around. I don't give a damn. Yeah, you're right. I don't need the torch. It was only dark for a bit. Dead now. You are dead. Oh, you guys are dead. What's that? You you thought I was gonna be fighting you with a torch again? Aha! Funny you would think that. Okay. An iron virgin. It's an Iron Maiden mech. Wait a minute. There was a lot of stuff down here. But let me make sure I could... Yeah, okay, that ladder will lead me back up, so... Oh, dang, there's also another path. This is like a Metroidvania-ass cave. Alright, let me look in here real quick. Hopefully this is shallow. Yep, it is. Oh, a stone sword key. Nice. You guys are linked together. Alright, I'm gonna go... Wait a minute. Oh, doesn't that imply that I need a giant someone to break that statue open for me? Which means there's probably a giant something down here. If I remember correctly. I should be able to just drop down here. Oh, that! So I need to make that break this. Uh, I assume. I don't think I've ever fought one of these before. Oh god! I hope it that worked. Where's the dude at? The little... Oh, this thing! I did fight one of these on the academy, I think. Well, I forgot about this guy. Ow. I'm missing. I'm about to bleed, too. That's what that red is, isn't it? I just need to be careful. Can I make him bleed? He's probably not. He's a robot. Why would I really make a robot bleed? Use your brain, Jay. I'll just use some heavy attacks. And be careful. Oh! He does have flesh. Ow. Please let me go. Please let me go. Please let me go. Oh, I can summon here. Sweet. I, you know, I was looking for a summon symbol and just I could not find it with my eyes because I'm blind. Whoa. 
Okay. Let me get in a safe spot. I don't know what would be best. I'm just gonna do my wolves. Well, they do have blood, so maybe they can bleed, actually. It's since it's not just fully mechanical. Wow, he wrecked my wolves. I should have did like the jellyfish or something. Oh, I remember now. You dodge when it tries to grab you and then you could do a bunch of damage. Like I said, I only fought one of these before and it was one time. Oh, apparently it also opens its doors for that attack. Hmm. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's a lot scarier than- It was actually tougher when I first fought, and I'm pretty sure, like, I used a lot of flasks. But I was, like, a much lower level. Cool. What are these little things I see once in a while? They're just there. There's these little tiny... Uh statues. I guess they're nothing. Yeah, I guess there's nothing else down here. That's good. Oh! Wow! That really didn't look like something I could pick up. I just kind of caught my eye. So I checked it out. I'm glad I checked it out. The other version had the Kratos swinging blades. Right! That one was probably worse, too. Yield butt plugs, oh my god. <laughs> That's terrible. I want to see if there's actually something down on this other route. Now that I've cleared this room out. Like over here, maybe. Nope. Clearly they don't have game design brain. They just, they just throw stuff willy-nilly wherever they feel. Unless... No game design brain here. No thoughts in head. Only no pause button. Every single one of those has a message next to it that says, try butthole. I've heard try butthole, but I, I didn't realize it was applied to those little statues. Oh. Boss, or something as intimidating as a boss. Too bad I used my summon already. Unless it's a new summon area or they just don't let you summon. What do you just roll under this? This is kind of scary. Oh no, you would duck under it. Or you just hit it? There's no Mega Man slide in this game, right? Oh, I guess I could just drop off the side and then I come back up that way to grab that. Giant butthole required ahead. Put one of those in front of the two fingers. Oh my god. Oh god, these things. I hope he took care of himself. Oh, another one. Now I know what those look like. You're getting fives, which is good because we're about to get have three and fours available, so we're gonna want fives. After the fact. Grace Mimic. Wow, another five. Every time there's a turtle, there's three messages that say dog. <laughs> I've not killed one turtle, because, uh, also I found that secret all by myself. Are you guys proud of me? But before I go that way... This 
Old Fang. This sounds like someone's old dog. Yeah, that's Old Fang over there. He doesn't get around as much as he used to, but he's a good boy. Are these things alive, or are they? Oh, they are. Haha, I dodged you. It's weird because it doesn't let you lock onto them. And they're not triggering by touching them like the other ones were. So these ones must be more docile, so I probably should just leave them alone, but I'm being mean. Uh, best part of that was when someone left a message that said, Seek dog outside the wizard towers, and I knew what they meant. Seek dog outside of the wizard towers. And it was a turtle? Uh-oh. I have to be careful here. It's just mirrors are like gold in that wall. You see that? Oh, there is. Because that's a little ledge you could get onto. But there's a dude to the right, so which one do I go? That's probably useless to me, but whatever. I'm kind of curious to see what it is. I'm going to go for it. I could potentially still reach that guy over there. It's just going to be a little harder. Oh, Smithing Stone 5. Well, good. already know we want those. Oh, I missed. I didn't realize how far away it was. Ow. Damn it. Ah, oh, he probably had a bunch of runes. Ah, uh, damn it. I, my, my depth perception was way off. I thought that that was a lot closer. Sucks. Damn it. We can't get up. I would have to die purposely. Would it be worth dying purposely? That dude probably has a point. Oh, this dude has golden ring rune 9 down here. Then the one up there that you can miss must have even more than that. I don't know, guys. Can you teleport to those statues or do you have to die to go back to them? Because there was a, a statue right up before this. That looks like a boss room or something. This is clearly an invisible wall. Oh. Thought it would have been. Yeah, it looks like it. Maybe it's a different invisible wall that only opens up after you beat whatever's here first. Probably a useless crafting item. Bodies like 90% of the time have runes on them though. Like just the random peasant bodies. I'm applying logic to FromSoft that does not exist. Two hand weapon? Okay, well. Onyx Lord. Onyx. Uh oh. Okay, a single swing. I'm trying to not to, you know, jump the gun here. Ow. Have I fought this guy before? Didn't I fight like a ghost version of this guy in another cave, I feel like, maybe? Could be wrong, but... Oh god, I don't know what's happening. Black hole? Okay. Jesus, I wanna... Oh, I can't summon my jellyfish, I'm just a little too low in FP. Well, if he kills me, I'll be able to go get that body, so that's... a, a benefit. Wow, he was ready. That's a really cool attack, even though it, uh, ouch, it doesn't usually hit me. Don't be doing that no punishment window BS that that other guy liked to do.
Are you sure the twin blades? It seems like I don't have time to get my hits on him. It seems like I only have time to get maybe like one strike in. Yeah, even that was like really close. Oh, he did flinch there finally. I don't know, I think I need to two-hand him. Cause I'll watch, I'll probably have time here to do just like a heavy jump. Yeah, yeah, he even flinched from it. Oh yeah, that's, that's much better. Oh, you sneaky. Yeah, I can interrupt his attacks with my heavy uh, attack. This is definitely the way to go. Wow, I wonder if I could just keep wailing on him, actually. Unless he, like, comes up with something, like, really... Oh, I'm out of stamina. Whoops. Ah, oh, you jerk. Oh, he didn't flinch that time. There we go. Oh, didn't think he was going to reach me. Okay, never mind. I just one at a time is fine. Oh. Whoops, I meant the dodge button. <laughs> that was actually just a... Ah, I always try to get that extra run out, but it's... Whoops, bad timing. Oh, I don't even have my... any more of those. It honestly seems like the best time to attack him is just run up and hit him before he's even doing anything. He's like the anti-punish guy. It's just hit him before he starts doing anything. Very different from most of the bosses in this. Cause, uh, Cause usually when you try to punish him, he's so fast that he like will run away before you get the chance. Alright. We got his great sword that's probably too heavy for me. I don't know, I kinda wanna go back through and uh Oh, what's down here? Ooh, save spot. Look, that may have been my first try, but I was dumb and I thought, I mixed it up and I thought you told me to dual wield because of the number two and dual, even though it's the opposite of what you meant. Oh, what? Just randomly I went, to, I got to another divine. I'm guessing that I can't open this, right? So, Fact just barely told me, like, last night, um, that apparently after you beat the big bosses, you're supposed to open these, like, corresponding divine towers. And I only happened to find one divine tower. Uh... I only happened to find one. 
and it was one that I couldn't open yet. And it was my my cousin said like, oh, I think you need to like beat this boss first. Okay, yeah, we'll spend the runes first. What time is it? Oh, it's still early. I'm glad I got to start early today. I do have a homework assignment that I want to finish later tonight, but I have plenty of time. Um, so the crones, right? The crone bone. The crone crone. crone. Oh, I know you. He's in his study. The room entry. If you haven't already, father is leader. I'm sure talking to him will be worth your while. Wait, her father's the leader of the round table? That one dude? Interesting. He should like... Whoa, what's this? Is that a... Is this a fight? That looks like a fight. I'm gonna wait before I go in there. Here you go. I good didn't say anything. <laughs> um. Wait, can you, you can't have more than one of these. Oh yeah, it says zero. Hey, we could get three and fours now. How many do I need? How many do I need? Uh, I don't think I have any, right? I still don't have any. Yeah, so... At least four? That's just Mikey in there. Twelve to go from plus six to plus nine. Okay. And that's just on my right sword. We're not even talking about my left one. But we'll probably just focus on my right one for now, because the right one I always use, I only use my left one sometimes when I'm trying to make bleed happen. So 12 of these. That's going to be quite expensive. Oh, actually, we have plenty of money for that. Oh, 10 to go from... Right, right, it is 7, you're right. Alright, so we'll do that first. Wakazashi slightly faster and you can put the parry ash of war on it. I don't... I haven't parried the whole game, so it probably would be bad for me to try to start doing it now. And when I was trying at the very start of the game, I couldn't figure it out, so probably not the best idea. But I appreciate you telling me that. Hello. Have you ever felt the curse? With your whole being? Maybe. Box upon life itself. Does that guy have the Soler armor that my brother is always talking about? Law. The reviled blessing. <laughs> Apparently not. You are but a lamb. A strange... You sweet summer child. Ignorant. You no longer interest me. I've been long without peace. Wait, this is the Dung Eater? I thought the Dung Eater was one of the big bosses. I asked you not to disturb me. Thankful of the heart. It is all that keeps your... The Dung Eater? Are you kidding me? Why are you guys freaking out? Wait, why is this place full of dead, rotting bodies? I asked you not to disturb me. Thankful it is all that keeps you. Jay notices the sun immediately. I mean, look at it. It's right there. Are you saying that Soler became a dung eater? He regressed. Well, this isn't dung, it's just dead bodies. That's a big difference, you know. Is there anything I could do in here or not not at the moment? I asked me thankful of it is all. I asked you to leave me alone. 
Dude, I have so many runes right now. Uh, and then how much were the four is gonna cost? I would need, what, 12 of these? Right? Because it's two and then four and then six. He doesn't literally eat dung. Well, I mean he does, but that's more of a side effect of eating and defiling corpses. I think it's supposed to be like an anti-solar thing. Okay, dude, we're gonna... Dude, we might even have enough to do a f some fives as well. This is gonna be sick. Also, um... How do I get stuff to upgrade my spirits more? Because I feel like I still haven't found any. Let me see. Yeah, I need a grave glove wart too, and I have I don't have any. Although now I need to decide what I because sometimes my wolves are better, sometimes my jellyfish is better. It depends on what I'm fighting. Catacombs, well, okay. Where have you are catacombs been? and caves two different? Oh, the catacombs was like that one area I went to that one time, right? It was a little more structured. Like, it wasn't for like mining as much, I guess. Make my sword stronger. Make, make, make my sword stronger. Make my sword stronger. Ooh, let's go. Make my sword stronger. Make, make, make my sword stronger. Make my sword stronger. Hell yeah. Make my sword stronger make 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 my sword stronger make my sword stronger let's go dude this is awesome look at look at all this too bad the decks didn't hit a but still oh we have fives we have enough fives to do it twice i gotta do it right i gotta do it right i mean i'm this far in the game and i've yet to find another sword to use so i might as well just keep keep buffing what i got right what do you guys think? Should I throw those 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 fives on there as well? We got enough for two more. That's so perfect that we just happened to get those right now. All right, we're doing it. We are doing it, baby. I wish that like each upgrade would like would like scale higher, like increase it by more. It seems like it's always by the same small amount, but whatever. Better this than nothing. Nerf or nothing, you don't, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? All right, and then you know what? We'll start, we have plenty of money, so let's go ahead and upgrade our left sword as well so we can, uh, when we fight people with bleed. Oops, wrong way. Um, all right, so we needed 12 of these, right? Because I think it's only at six, and then 12 of the other one. So we just went from 216 to 290? Are you, are you legit right now? That's like almost a whole like third stronger almost. Almost. You can have a secondary weapon that uses the somber stones to upgrade without giving up any regular ones. But I don't know what the somber stones even do. No one explained that to me. All I know is I have a freaking a million of them. I kept finding somber stones instead of regular stones. I have some threes and fours, but I don't have enough. Well, I have enough for one, one of these. Somber stones upgrade special weapons. But I don't know what's considered a special weapon. Because it says you can have a secondary weapon that uses the somber stones to upgrade. But I don't... But I don't have a secondary weapon for that, right? I'm assuming. Oh, 
Okay, so... I can't use these, basically. So I need to buy... Yeah. So I need 12 of these and 12 of these. So I might as well just upgrade my... Uh... Oh yeah, I have enough money. Wait, do I? Yeah, I'm gonna spend like most of what I have left, but screw it. Might as what do you guys think? Should I should I buff my uh, my left sword? Maybe just put these stones into it, at least. And then let's see, cause I'm a little iffy because I don't always use my left sword. Like my right sword's definitely first priority. Maybe you already have a weapon you're interested in trying that might use somber stones. I don't think I do, Demon Sweat. We were going through all of our weapons. And I just... None of the weapons I picked up the entire game is better than, like, my starting weapon. And, like, for me, personally. It just doesn't... I feel like they, like... I don't know. Like, they skimp out on certain classes. Like, I've been picking up... Every single spell I've I've gained through my 30 plus hours of playing, I can't use a single one of them. They all require faith or intelligence, which I have neither of. And none of the spells use arcane. There's zero arcane, which doesn't make sense because you think, it, like any spell would use some arcane, but I don't know. They have weird, weird reasonings. Them those front from soft boys. Uh, you did tell me where to find an extra lo long katana, but it's too late. I put I have been plus fifteen into into this, plus ten into this. I would have to start getting like smithing stones all over again, even if it was like ten, twenty hours ago. I would have been too late because you know I had already put my smithing stones into my right sword. I don't know. I feel like after you've been leveling up your sword that much, that's it would be a waste to switch. But yeah, I don't want to just like murder a, a an NPC that did me no wrong just just for a sword that I shouldn't even know that he has. Uh, what am I doing? Yeah, you know, what? okay, screw it. We'll upgrade my left sword. This is probably going to be the last I play of this game for a while anyways. Might as well just go all in. Uh, so 12 of these. Gee, she doesn't have that many left. That's a little worrying. Did they just run out completely after a while? Hmm. Oh well. Yeah, but don't you do special attacks only when you're dual wielding the same exact sword? Or did I miss in did I did I misunderstand that when I think Fact told me something like that? Back already. No matter. Dude, look at all that bleed. Now we're up to 70 bleed on the left sword. Do I think I'm gonna get it again? Maybe, I don't know. I didn't plan on even playing this far, honestly. All right, what was I doing? Oh, I was going back to that, uh... Hey, very, I think this is it. Yeah, Fact told me that Arcane increases bleed buildup. So we, that's why we have some points in Arcane. But that's why I'm mad, because it just so happens none of my spells that I have use Arcane. Not a single one. 
Power stancing using the same weapon, so it can be multiple katanas, different axes, swords, hammers. You're halfway through the game, maybe, I don't know, I consider Atlas beyond early game. An arcane katana? I mean, I do like what I have because, like, the left one has bleed. So I'm just gonna go real quick and just try to get that body. I should test out my, uh... Katanas, though, honestly. Now that I've grown so powerful. Oh boy, I love redoing the elevator every time. That's my favorite part, even though the love The enemies respawn. The enemies reset. But the elevator doesn't reset. Hmm, really makes you think. Jay's gonna fall in love when he finds rivers of blood. Is that an arcane spell? Oh, and it makes bleed. Alright, I'll try to be quick here. Well, Hoodie, you say I'm doing good this stream. You should see me. I've had some pretty horrible times with this. I, I will admit, I've had highs and I've had lows. But the lows are so painful, it just, like... I don't know. Oh no! Why did I... I forgot that these guys... were jerks. That's why their wep weapons are all serrated. Oh, they are designed to gang up on you, aren't they? I swear, I don't know any other game where there's an enemy that's like really weak that you could take down like no problem, but then they could also just kill you in an instant because you made one mistake. I can't think of like any other game where that that's a thing that happens. Like there's just a point where an enemy's so weak that they're... That's all they are. They're just... They're, they're pathetic. But in this game, it's like the weak enemies can still just kill you. If they catch you off guard or if you make a mistake. Alright, let's see. Let's see what you're holding. <gasps> oh, are you serious? <sighs> okay. That makes sense. They designed that in such a way that I guess I hit a wall right there. At least there's a stake right there, but that's pretty annoying. I know that there's some enemies that are are completely weak and pathetic and they can't harm you, but there's plenty of enemies that are weak and pathetic and you can kill instantly that can also kill you instantly. That, that, that's mainly what I'm saying. I'm not saying that they're all like that, but it's just the fact that they exist at all is not a thing that, that uh, is a thing in other games for the most part. At least games where you like level up over time. Obviously Mario is a different kind of game altogether where you, you can die, you know, you have the same amount of hits throughout the entire game. Where's my stuff at, actually? Oh great, where did they put my stuff? Okay, good. I don't think it, that it, it that I didn't it wasn't that I didn't have enough distance. Uh, Demon Sweat, I think I hit the cave wall because it was shaped weirdly, but you couldn't tell from there. I think that's what it. Well, the, well, look. Actually, now I don't know. I think I am. Su mm, let's see. Okay, good. Oof. Lightning grease. I thought that was gonna be runes. All right, Weeping Peninsula. I thought we did that already. Lightning Gweave. I'm gonna refill my drink while you guys tell me what I should do next, because I have no idea. I 
I've gathered zero sacred tears from the Weeping Peninsula. I thought I've gathered at least a few, like three or four sacred tears at this point. I mean, should I try to fight like one more big boss? Since I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm sending the game back tomorrow. I need to like start playing other stuff. There's three whole tiers in the peninsula. Wow. I I don't I don't know where, what I should do next, guys. Oh, I haven't. I haven't done any um. Is that what my cousin was like? Because I showed him like, oh look, I have two of my physic effects. If I combine them, it makes me heal completely. And he was like, oh, that basically makes it like one of your normal flasks. And I was like, what are you talking about? Your normal flask doesn't heal you completely. It heals you like half at the most. Is that why? Because I didn't have more sacred tears. Draconic tree sentinel outside the northern entrance to the city. Draconic. That dude, that guy was kicking my ass last time. And that was like one level ago. Northern entrance to the city. I forget where that was exactly. Would this be the northern entrance? Well, this is this is the entrance and this is north. And then there's an entrance here and then there's an entrance here. So I don't know, unless you maybe you mean this entrance. Okay, so the so you're talking about this one. To the right of the minor earth tree. So you do mean this entrance? Oh, this. That little sneaky one. I feel like that guy's gonna kick my ass because that's a horse fight and we already know I do not like those very much. And I'm pretty sure he was just kicking my ass. Like I just happened to find him by accident and he was just annihilating me. I was like, well, goodbye and I left. You can also enter the royal capital. Mm -hmm. There goes that Joker music again. Yeah, this is where the... There's like a bunch of giants, right? And then once you get past the giants, there's... freaking That dude on the horse who wants me dead. Whoa, that was... Sneaky. God damn it. Yep. Okay, I guess I just gotta get up there, but how do I get up there? Not a very good checkpoint, is it? Golden City pr Prison Castle or Volcano Manor. Can I go to Knife Mountain? Here we go. Wait, nope. Thought maybe that'd be a path going up. This way. There we go. No, this is another dead end. What the? F How? I know I've been over there before. Haven't I? 
God damn it, I should just go through the freaking city. What am I thinking? I have not fought Radon. Uh, I don't know what I've been all through. I just keep like pinballing around the map, so I'm never sure how much of what I've done. Which one is Khalid or Khalid? Oh my god, this is just a place that you can't do anything once you're there. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to commit this to memory. Divine Bridge is a trick a trick. Okay, committed to memory. Khalid I did a place called Dragon Barrow, yet I've not fought in a single dragon before. How the hell does that make sense? Well, technically I fought that enormous immobile dragon, but he wasn't really an enemy because he couldn't even move. That was pretty sick, though. He gave us so many souls. Almost as much as that one guy I hated. Why is this in a cave? What the hell is going on? What? This was that place that... I am so confused. Why would they name this Capital Outskirts when you're inside of a damn cave? It should be called Cave of something. Yeah, I didn't know it was gonna be in a cave. There's no cave in the dang title. Dude, it didn't even say cave. It said capital outskirts. Well, I don't know, okay? I'm just trying to get to where you told me to go, but all the pads are blocked off. They make it so annoying. And then how, like, you warp to a place that seems the closest, and then that's a place where you can't actually get anywhere. I don't get why I haven't found any grace sites on it on that side of the map at all, because I've definitely been there. Isn't this where that giant guy shows up? Okay, I've been here. Like, this should just be a grace site right here. I don't know why it isn't. All right, can I go up here? The Grace Mimics, I found one. I found a Grace, did I find a Grace Mimic? I think I picked one up in that cave that we were in. Did he just yell something? Those guys don't usually talk, do they? No, this is dead end, I remember now I've been up here. Oh, I found five. Okay. Ow. Leave me alone. I'm just trying to get through. I'm just passing through. Should I go up the right or the left? Ah, oh, my freaking map doesn't work. Alright, I'm gonna get to like... Where there's like no graces over here and then I'm gonna put one of those down. There's a staircase. Oh my god, I was just here. But that's the one that I have already, right? Well, that's why I was just here, because I... Oh my god, I'm... this is such a waste of time. A staircase here? I don't know, maybe this is it. Although that wasn't even on the map, it's just yet another vague path, like it's just a path, a path, a path, a path. So you never know which one's actually accessible or not. 
Because I was following the road last time and it just led to a dang cliff. Okay. Okay, this must be what I remember from before the giants just attacking you. Here he is. Demon Sword says that they're just for pointing randomly into confused hosts, but I'm already confused. They probably changed what they do just in time for me to play. Guide and gatekeeper for those returning to the roots. Hmm. Wait. Is this telling you to like go down here? That's interesting. You would die from that, wouldn't you? But maybe like there's another way down there. Yeah, there does look like there's a path somewhere. Interesting. I, I, I haven't found any gray sites over here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try the mimic and see what it does. Because if there's a boss right there, there's gotta be a gray somewhere nearby. So I'm gonna go for it. Is this it? Light shows the path, but without order. All right, I'm gonna, I have five of them. I'm gonna give it a shot. Well, well, the nearest one is all the way over on the other continent. That's good to know. They're definitely not pointing to the one in the cave I just found because it's pointing off to this part of the map I've never been to. It was also like pointing in an upwards arc. Because the cave one is like way back here. And it was pointing in the opposite direction. So I think they were pointing somewhere over there. It does not change how it points up down. Well, it was still pointing the opposite direction on the map, that's all I'm saying. But he says go down there, there's catacombs, but I don't know how to get down there. That's the only problem. I'm just gonna have to try to fight this guy, I guess. We'll see what happens. Probably gonna die. The cave you just- I didn't find no damn cave. Statues light the way to a catacomb. Okay, but there's- I can't get down there and- I, I'm guessing you have to f kill that guy and then there's- you get to the path down there. I would not assume that that's a safe jump when at no other point in the game have we been able to just jump safely unless it's a wind thing. I can't even like look down there very good and it makes my freaking stomach drop looking off the cliff like that. Dude, I don't know. The only place, look, there's flat ground over there. Way over there. But that looks like a place that I, I, it, I that's not accessible to me yet. I'll, I'll try to look a little closer, let me see. Yeah, this is behind the dude that I have to kill, right?
You can go there from behind the giant archers. I'm trolling for you. I don't know, guys. We're gonna have to, uh... Just fight this guy, I guess. Yeah, it does have a stake, at least. So I guess we'll see what happens. But I think he's gonna kick my ass. I already do no damage to him. And I, I suck at these horse fights, guys. There was one boss that I fought pretty early on and it took me forever. He wasn't even like a real boss either. Oh my god, the frame rate. He looks like clay animation. Do you guys see that? That straight up looked like claymation. It kind of looked cool. If there was a boss that purposefully had that animation, that would actually be kind of sick. But I know that it was just having a performance issue. It's too bad that your your uh, your speed thing doesn't give you any dodge frames. Well, my wolves are dead. I should've used a jellyfish. I didn't realize this guy was just gonna stand still. Jellyfish would have plenty of time to poison him, probably. Ow. Ow. You know what, you're right. I don't think I have to fight him on horse. He's really slow. I don't know if he bleeds, though. So probably shouldn't risk that for now. Yeah, most horse guys run around on their horse a lot, so this... I assumed I was going to have to fight him on horseback. Apparently not. Ah, oh, I ran out of stamina. Oh god. Oh, he... He AOE'd me, I guess. Damn it! Definitely gonna use a jellyfish next time. He can bleed, but he's resistant. Alright, so we'll probably just keep doing heavy attacks then. Oh, now he's moving around. Oh god, what is this? Okay. What are you doing now? I was trying to dodge, but he did like that weird slow turnaround thing that he does sometimes. Oh, I'm out of... Well... I'm glad that they have that, like... I didn't realize how much... That I didn't have a health thing yet, so let's waste five seconds of you trying to drink a health you don't have. And make it so you can't dodge. This game could use a sort of tattle scan check info spell. It really could. Because I... Here's the thing. I There's there's times where it's okay and fun to like experiment with enemies and see what they're weak against on your own. And then there's some times where it's really much better to just be able to f get that information more immediately. And it's in games like this where it's very punishing to die and it's very hard to experiment that they should just let you get that information. You know what I mean? This isn't the kind of game that makes it really fun or convenient to experiment like that. So you should just... It almost is a game where you like just want to have a guide. Stop hurting my poor jellyfish. He was the chosen one. Ow, I didn't realize he was even going for me there. Oh. Poison him, jelly. There you go, good job. Keep getting him. He'll be poisoned in no time unless you're resistant to poison.
Oh, did I just like... I think I put him in a stun mode, but then I didn't capitalize on it. I forgot that I usually turn my speaker... I usually turn my speakers up a little for this game. No, Jelly! Stop! Leave him alone. Oh, he's dead. Well, he put work in. He put more work in than the wolves did. Ah, you hit a rock. What a dummy. Ow. I let him hit me. I'm the dummy now. Ouch. Oh god, when he does that, he's actually not doing an attack, he's just charging his weapon, so he is vulnerable for a bit, it seems like. Oh, I don't know what's going on now. Okay, just stay away from those spots that light up. Apparently. Oh god, he can attack very quickly. Oh, I'm probably dead. Oh, that just locks onto you, huh? Yeah, see, I knew this guy was gonna be hard. I want to abide by this misgender into the beautiful, majestic Aurelia. See, I don't know how to pronounce the name, or else I would be saying it. Also, I don't remember ever gen gendering the jellyfish. You say poison doesn't aggro, but uh, he does seem to eventually turn its sights to the jellyfish once getting hit by the poison enough. So I don't know, maybe they patched that. I think you are supposed to fight him on horseback because once he starts doing that lightning, where's my stuff at? Oh, there it is. Once he starts doing his lightning, it gets really hard to dodge his, uh, his attacks. Someone my jellyfish already. I'm gonna get fireballed, I already know it. Hope I did, but not how I expected to. Okay, that's great. Ah! Ah, I thought you were close enough, maybe you just dodged the fire altogether. No! Oh, really? It must, the fireball must have hit something or something, and it just splashed, damaged me, it looked like. Oh my god, every time, oh, I got lucky! I was, like, at a slight incline, and it seemed like, okay. I thought you were just pulling your weapon back up, didn't realize you were going for another swing. Ouch. Oh my god, every time. Oh, wow, apparently this is where you want to be, the high ground. You want to use the Obi-Wan technique against this guy. He's poisoned, I think. There's a green mist around him. Dude, just keep attacking him until the jellyfish gets his attention again, and then... Oh god, I'm dodging at the wrong time now. Problem is, he's going to kill the jellyfish. No! Oh, that was a good strategy. I'm gonna do that again if I... I'll probably die again. Oh, that worked. I feel like that shouldn't have worked. Ouch.
Okay, only time for one quick attack, apparently. Poison misspell doesn't aggro. It's important to know Oriella's name. Is that it, Oriella? Was I overcomplicating it? No, Aurelia. Should I not just try to fight like that other big boss, like Rodan? Everyone keeps mentioning Rodan over and over again. I feel like... Ori... Or... Aurelia. Aurelia. Okay, Aurelia. I'm so bad at, like, I'm generally a pretty good reader, but I am so bad when it's a word that I don't recognize. If that makes any sense. Oh, he did more than three in a row. Oh, yeah, I gotta remember, he strikes twice there. But I can't let him hurt my jellyfish. No. Oh, God. Yeah, if we could take turns getting his attention, I feel like this could, uh really work well. Damn it, but when you do that stuff, he's so fast, that's a problem. I mean, it's kind of impressive that the bosses are programmed so they can transition in the middle of a combo, they can switch their target, but it's also a huge pain in the ass. So I don't know whether to be impressed or annoyed. Man, he takes off, like, the majority of one of my health part. I don't know how to dodge that. I don't think you can outrun it. His health's pretty low, though. Oh, I hate that the splash damage hits you. So you can dodge it, but then it still gets you. I'm gonna try outrunning. Oh, you can outrun it. It just always felt like it was sticking to me. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah, this whole time I thought you had to like dodge it at the exact right time. I didn't realize it was uh Well It is recommended for players J and up that you avoid R Radon like the plague. Well, my cousin beat Radon on his first try, and he's generally not that great at video games, so if I can't beat Radon on my first try, then I must be the biggest loser in the world. I hate that my li my runes are always right next to him. One of the most annoying aspects of this game. I gotta worry about picking my crap up before I even start the fight. So I'm gonna get hit probably. I didn't even get my stuff. He's right on top of it. Okay, there we go. Oh great, now I gotta start the fight. 
I'm so... what a privilege. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, he hit the ground. And then he hit me. Yeah, you know what? If we're just really... If we really pick and choose when to hit him here, in such a way that he's constantly turning back and forth... Oh yeah, this could work very beautifully, I think. But he still has my attention. But he's getting... In a weird spot, I don't like this. Or do I? Ouch. Never mind. Oh! Punish? I can't. I'm like in a weird angle. I hate when that happens. They're like stunned down, but you can't do the punish because they're like at a higher plane than you. Oh. Wow, jellyfish lasts all the way till the second phase. I need to heal. Oh god damn you dumb fireballs. Oh god, just run. Oh no, that's a different one. Oh! I thought he was doing the different one! Oh, we were doing so good! Right? Isn't there two different ones? One where he locks onto you and then another one where he just does the ground around him? Did he just do both at once? That's the only reason I stopped running. I was like, oh, he's doing the other one. Damn, that was such... Oh, I hate that. That would have been it. Like, I'm like pretty sure that would have been it, but there's always some BS. So annoying. The corner actually wasn't the best only because I had less control on, uh, less control and, um, judging on who he was looking at, because we, it's good if he's, like, right between me and the jelly, just so that I can time it right for him to keep trading attention, if that makes sense. Jellyfish missed. That's not good. Yeah, see, I shouldn't have even tried to hit him there. So, I'm just gonna keep dodging until a jellyfish gets his attention, which should be soon. Well, that was a weirdly slow. Okay. There he goes. But see, it's not good because now he's damaging the jellyfish. If you're in the right position and you could time it right, we could keep making him turn back and forth without him hurting e either of us. Like I did that last run, but I... You have to be in a good position. Like the jellyfish can't be too far away from you or else he'll run to it and then you won't have time to hit him before he hits the jellyfish. Ah. But see, now he, if he's against a wall, he can't be between us really. Oh, come on, it's the splash damage! Okay. I might have a chance to save the jellyfish, let's see. Nope. That was such a good attempt last time, but that stupid lightning bullshit. <sighs> jellyfish is gonna die now. Yeah, this sucks. Man, I had him. It's like every time you think you learn something, there's something just different or he does something to like to contradict what you learned like oh when he does the lightning it's either the lock on or the aoe so which one is it gonna be oh he's doing the aoe and then the lock on one hit comes out anyways barely have time to punish him You should ignore the punish because you probably won't do as much damage when the punish as you will rocking bleed by getting a few free hits. What? 
He hasn't bled once the fact because he's resistant to bleed, remember? But also I can't stay on him in the second phase hoodie because he'll he can do like a an attack with his club with his lightning club which does like 90% of my health bar so I can't just like really stay on top of him either. Oh, it's raining. Oh hey, at least my stuff's not right next to him for once. Yeah, but when you say resistant, it makes me think like you shouldn't bother because he's strong against it, you know? That he's... Takes him a while to get the... Oh, there we go. He's gonna get a hit on the jelly, unfortunately, but that's okay. Ah, oh, stupid... Stupid environment! Always working against you. No! Look at me! <laughs> Don't just hit me right away. See, now I can't tell. Hang on, I'm gonna hit him once. Damn it! Don't kill my jellyfish. Jerk. Stop moving around so much. We want a good run again. A good run, I say. Oh, I dodged too soon and I think the splash caught me. You just, man, he does not give you time to heal. He killed my freaking jellyfish. I'm not gonna get that good run again. He bullshitted me out with that lightning. I swear, it's like whenever you're doing good and the game's like, oh, he's doing a good strategy, I'm gonna do some bullshit. I swear, man. It's the only explanation. If I just kept running during that lightning, I mean, if you're saying I'm getting bleeds on him, then maybe I should try dual wielding. But I'll, I'll try that. We'll see if that helps. Because I haven't been seeing the bleeds at all. Maybe he just has so much health. I don't know. But I'm also so focused I'm trying to dodge him. I can't really look at his health bar very much. Wait, what? Jay, please, what? What did I do? It doesn't matter if it does the same amount or not. I don't know what it... I don't know when it... Where's my stuff at? It's actually pretty far away from him, thankfully. Funny how he kind of flint, he kind of reacts to the poison a little bit. Oh, I thought he was turning around. That was.
Oh, didn't have time. There should be an upgrade that makes you chug faster, honestly. When are they gonna give me that upgrade? Burn trees. Stop going against walls. We're trying to get you in between us. Oh, he's hitting my jellyfish. No, no. Jellyfish is dead. God damn it. God damn you. I saw blood shoot out of him, but I, I can't look at the health bar right now. I don't know how you guys look at the health bar and what's going on on the screen at the same time. <sighs> Stupid splash damage. Oh great, he's already doing this now. I'm just gonna keep running no matter what. I'm not falling for it this time. Okay, I don't even know anymore. I'm just gonna keep running. I guess this is a... Maybe it was just one of those hit me and it was just such a wide range, I didn't... It just looked like it was the lock-on one. Okay, that was new. Oh, I was rolling. I think I dodged the initial hit and then just the lightning on the ground hit me. I swear I dodged the initial hit and the lightning on the ground hit me. Yeah, I... Didn't I? I feel like I did. No, it's not like punch out at all, because for punch out, everything is immediately responsive. And it's about like. Yeah, like, this is like, if anything, this is like anti punch out. Gotta get behind him real quick. Man, that was such a good run. That lightning bullshit. I had like six flasks still. That's the worst part. Okay, I got greedy with that last hit, I'll admit, but I don't care. This guy's an asshole. I just want him to die. See, now we're both... Facing. Yep, I knew he was gonna do that. Oh no! No! It was it was a decent start, but now my jellyfish has one hit left, so he's dead basically. Yep. Oh, he missed. I got lucky. Ouch! That was just a bad timing on my part. Okay. And Jellyfish is dead. It was a little better this time around, I guess. Okay, that's the lock on one. When the ground is glowing, that's when we just want to just run away from him, I guess. Ah, such a wide range. And I'm going to get hit again. We're actually doing okay, I just need to get my... Be careful with my health. Okay, lock on. I should run towards him when he's doing that. So I'm paranoid about the... Splash damage bullshit. Oh, 
What is this again? Okay. Okay, that time the running didn't work. Sure. Seems legit. Why not? Also, he ran out of lightning. I didn't even know he, that could happen. Thought it was a second form right above. Is he getting tired? Is he getting tired? Is it just me? I don't know. It seems like he's getting tired. Oh, activated his lightning again. Thought I was like about to. Ah, oh, I didn't see the lightning was in the way. I'm just gonna heal. Okay. Just. Oh man, I tried to. It's such a huge freaking. Like, you can't tell where it's gonna hit with the- I can't even tell what he's doing most of the time. That is not all patterns, Hoodie. It's a whole different thing, because that's the whole point I'm trying to make, is you start to learn a pattern, and then they bullshit you, and they do different shit. It's like if you threw a hundred tiny patterns into an RNG machine or something, I guess you could come. But even then they could start doing one thing and then like it act reacts differently than it did before. Or because you, you hit a wall or something. Or you healed at the wrong time. So we're going to throw a projectile at you. It, it isn't just patterns. It's also like just random, like the game dicking you over, I guess. I also heard people talking, they said that the Souls games in general over time apparently gotten really bad with their balancing boss fights between each class to where like a boss fight for one class would be will be like feel virtually impossible and for another class it feels like a joke. And I guess they used to be better with that. Like considering each type of build for each boss and now like, up to this point, it's, like, just all over the board. Camera. Can't see. Ugh. Come on. I knew he was trying to hit me, but... Poor jellyfish. No! It's dead. Why did it unlock? One little twig got in front of me and him, probably. I don't like that they take your lock on away if they happen to go behind a wall or something. I feel like it, that's always detrimental. Like if you want to unlock if someone's behind a wall, you could just do it yourself. You don't need the game assuming that's what you want. Oh, great. Okay. Once again, I was running, and the lightning just, just that time it decided to hit me, and that's what I'm talking about. It's not just patterns. If it was just patterns, and I would, the pattern would be when he does that run, and you'll avoid it. Sometimes the game's like, eh, this time it hits you. That's exactly what I'm talking about.
That's the thing, Hoodie. I actually don't mind if a game has most of its substance through a single playthrough. I'm not someone who needs to put a hundred hours into a game to really love a game. For me, sometimes the best games are ones that just experiencing it for the first time and it's just like a 10 hour game or whatever, even shorter than that. Like, like I'd much rather have a game that's just like short but really engaging and impactful than something that's just like goes on for as much time as possible or like has a lot of replay value and i'm not saying the replay value is a bad thing that is a good thing that is something that people should consider but i don't think every game need like i don't think the value of a game should be based on its replay value that's just one aspect that is you know important for some people more than others long ass delay See? Oh, jellyfish is getting hit. Or am I getting hit? Ah, oh, no! I hate when he runs to him. His club does too much damn damage. Leave him alone. Leave her alone. Oh, you got his attention quick that time. Oh boy. Oh great. Oh my jellyfish, you're you're no recovery time on your attacks, huh? Just lightning me while you finish out my jellyfish. Wonderful. Oh I'm dead. Where am I? Guess not. Yep, I dodged the initial hit, but then the wave, the full wave hit me, which I hate that shit too. In fact, that's the problem that I'm seeing though, is that because for some classes it's impossible, it, 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 forces people to go and fight them in a direction another direction if a boss might make you say like oh maybe i should just use magic against him since that's what's good against him rather than having a boss designed so that each whatever your build is you can have your own strategy to fight them that that's i'm think i think that that's exactly going against that idea of of not of not everyone fighting something the same way it's encouraging people to fight things in a similar way. Like you, like... Stairs would block that. No! I hate that you hit twice. You could just get my jellyfish once and leave him alone, huh? Oh god. I'm just gonna try to heal and then. Of course, I shouldn't have. Okay, run, 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 run! Oh god, almost went off a cliff. Probably not a big cliff, but still. Really push, please. Jellyfish put in work. That's all I can ask for. We're not we're never gonna get as good of a jelly run as we did that one time. It's 
that time it hit me once again. Oh, he's gonna do it right away, and it hit me again, of course, because of course it would. The, the, when he decides to do it twice in a row, where are you going? Okay, but you can still hit me from down there. That's nice. Yep, rolled the initial hit, and then the electricity kills you. So if you're too close when he does that, you just get hit. There's nothing you can do. You get hit. And that stuff like that's bullshit too, because like literally, like if you're in the wrong place when when a enemy decides to do a certain move, you can just be screwed. That's it. I don't like that stuff either. Is it possible a jump could dodge it? In that situation, no, because he was swinging down towards me. So if I jumped, he would have hit me with the first hit. So either way, I was going to get hit by something. Like. God damn it. Why? Let me guess, he went too far away from the stake, so I got punished for it, right? That's what happened, right? Because he decided to go down there. And... Okay, at least we freaking found this. Yeah, I mean, if I wasn't in the path of the swing, but it was too late for me to start running out of the path of the swing. Like, I get what you're saying, Fact, but it's still a situation where I I would have had to have been in the ideal situation to perform that, and I wasn't. Pretty says there's a grace up here left of the stairs, apparently, which... That's good. I, I do need to get my runes back. I don't know why the my mimic grace wanted to point at me like up here maybe somewhere or down more. That's a cliff. There's a lot of skeletons up here. This is west. I went west of going up the stairs and now I'm looking around the west area. There it is. It's just immediately after you go up the steps you go left. I didn't I didn't know how immediate you meant. Thank you. Are you blind? I wasn't even saying that to be mean, like literally, is he blind? I don't know why I'm looking here. <laughs> okay, well, we have that there now at least. There's a quick step in Bloodhound Step that gives you more iframes in your typical dodge. And you press L2 to activate them? Smithing Stone 5. Hey, we actually need those right now. I can't believe... Bosses should not be allowed to leave the places that make your resurrection go away. Like, that should just be a basic thing that should be implemented. Here's what should happen. The game should know, like, if you're close enough to the boss when you... Or hell, if a boss kills you, that should be easy enough to program in. Boss killed J equals resurrect at stake. No matter where you are. Like that should just be the, the simplest thing to put in. That you shouldn't get punished because the boss led you away. And by the way, I tried to lead him back up. 
But he started lightning, lightning, lightning. He started using lightning on me. I don't even know how to freaking get down there, and I can't look at the map because there's stupid enemies. I know I'm supposed to go up here, right? Because that's the whole point. I have to go up the steps first. Or did I go up even too much farther after that? No, these are the steps. There's the stake. No, that can't be the stake because the stake's way closer to the gun. So it's left more. Okay, down here then, probably. Those giants are gonna try to kill me. Ignore them. Well, it's not really up to me ignoring them. It's as if they decide to be a dick and hit me, I guess. But it looks like they're focused on the other people right now. Okay, that's nice. Sweet. I can't poison arrow hoodie because even if I did try to cheap him out like that, when he gets to the lightning phase, he'll just start lightning me from afar. And by the way, these golems are aggro to me now, so that's nice too. Very, very nice of, that that's a thing. They're probably going to die from them, if anything. He like pulls his weapon out so you have like a little bit of a time for a cheap attack. I think I just noticed that for the first time. Can't. Wish I could see. Wish I wish these environments weren't so cramped. You know? Is he using lightning already? Can I like see? Thank you. Jesus Christ. I don't know what that was he just did. I know my jelly's dead. Oh, it's not. I really thought it was gonna be dead. That actually shocked me. Every boss should be fine in a nice open area. The environment should not be a contributing factor to the BS that you already have to deal with. Like the other example, like I mean that Erd Tree ro uh, Scarlet Rock guy was the worst freaking example. I tried to dodge as fast as I could, but you know, he he doesn't get recovery time on his big OP moves, but I get recovery time just trying to heal. Now he's just hitting me with it every time now. Funny how my strategy worked. You know, like another thing, you think you learn a strategy, 
and then the game's like, eh, it doesn't work anymore because we say so. That's happened to me more often than it hasn't. I know, I know to use my my physic hoodie, but I didn't realize I was out of my normal flasks. But I mean, I wasn't gonna beat them that time anyways. It just that wasn't a good start. That's another thing too. How frustrating is it when a fight that you're having struggle with could have ended an hour ago, but your good run got ended by bullshit? That's like another example of like how there's just a a point with certain enemies where I can never feel satisfied even after I beat them. Because it's like, well, that's nice. It should have been over an hour ago, but, you know? It's not confirmation bias because it shouldn't happen so often that I'm seeing it again and again and again. That's the problem. If it was once or twice, it'd be like, oh, you know, that happens sometimes. It's a little once in a while, you get a screwy thing. But it seems to be most bosses, I figure out a strategy that works every time, and then it just decides to stop working. I mean, whatever you call it, I think that my point still stands. It's happening more often than it isn't. As in pretty much every boss. Not counting bosses that I, like, beat easily obviously because I don't have enough time to notice if it's happening but with the bosses that I'm already having trouble with wow the jellyfish can like do a headbutt I don't think I've ever noticed that till right now ah I thought he was turning around Can you stop going in your dumb little corner for a second? And then let me out of the dumb little corner? Nope, it's not gonna let me until the jellyfish gets his attention. But it's not like he moved towards it. There we go. Splash damage. Nothing better than dodging the thing and then the residue of the thing you dodge still hits you. Not. Nothing better than him instantly killing one thing and then being able to attack me half a second after. I know I'm covered in super heavy armor, but I'm way more agile than you. See if it works this time. Worked that time. He's gonna do it again. Oh, yeah, you know, he had to make up for it, you know? Didn't work the first time, so he had to... It's like they know. It's like they know. Huh, that thing, his strategy worked that time. Better, better take care of that. Don't want him to ever feel like he learned and got better and is satisfied in fighting the boss. That would be a damn shame if that were to happen. Is he... okay. Okay, he just set it right back up real quick, didn't he? Come on, don't hit me. Well, remember when it was working every time? That was cool. Those were the good old days. Now it works once every five times. He didn't... Okay, sure. Oh, remember he gets to attack right after his big attack that does half my health core? That's good for him. I'm happy for him. He must feel good about himself. Remember when I dodge a thing, but it hits the stairs and the splash damage still hits me? That's fun. I love when the, that was all because the stairs were there. 
There's just so much, so much fun things about this, you know? Almost too many to count. Remember when you dodged the initial hit, but because you were too close, you know, you still get hit by the after- Oh, it's wonderful. What a fun game. What a fun challenge where you learn and get better, and there's definitely no other outside factors of bullshit. I mean, right? Come on. I'm not the only one that feels this way, right? The game's literally like, well, he'll die now if we do this, and he'll have no chance of getting away, so let's do that now. It's literally like they calculate that almost. It really feels like it, that it's like... The only thing that hasn't been happening that usually often happens is I haven't been getting screwed over picking up my runes. Because I hate having to pick up my runes at the start of a boss fight. But the area seems to be open enough that I'm usually able to get them without like getting hit or whatever. Jelly's gone already. I don't think he even got to poison him. Nope, he sure didn't. I mean, it doesn't matter if I'm at a disadvantage. There's still these, these situations where they make it completely bullshit against you. See, like, I should have been safe to heal there because he was in the middle of finishing an attack, but he decided to do one of his attacks that can hit me in time that I can't heal. Wow, that was just luck. I don't know why he missed his fireball there. I'm just trying to dodge now because the running is just not working now most of the time. Damn yeah, it, I think he was going to attack twice. Ah. Oh, I'm too close. I'm not going to be able to get away from this probably. Oh, I did. Got lucky. Oh, I couldn't see. Okay, just give me my heal, please. And you know why I couldn't see? Anyone know why I couldn't see? It was because that tree was in the way. Yeah, funny how that works. Hmm. It's almost like that's another reason why that Evergoal boss's fights are the best boss fights in the game. Put any of these bosses in the Evergoal zones and they're automatically like three times better, I feel like, I bet. Because there's like none of that environmental bullshit. Oh, I figured out how to dodge that at least. Ouch. Ouch. I didn't realize he was going to do a quick swipe. Oh god, get away. Get away. Can I heal? Ah, he always does a second hit, but I, like, don't realize when he's doing the second hit. I, Because sometimes he does one swing. Screw you. Oh, you can attack again right after that big sweep, huh? Interesting. Did 
You are oh, wrong button. Ah. I dodged it at the right time. I was pretty sure I did. <sighs> Ran out of stamina. Screw you, dumb freaking horseman. Ooh. Dragon Great Claw, Dragon Claw Shield. Two things I probably have no use for, but... That's the other, like, I really feel like they're biased against builds. I've not gotten a single weapon or anything in the entire game that I could actually... that benefits me than the one that I started with. I'm sure there's the potential for BS in the Evergolds, but I don't think it's ever happened to me. And it's definitely... Uh, seems like it has a much lower chance of happening. But also, hey, uh, blame double O. Okay, I don't even know where this leads to. Uh, what the hell is this, an elevator? I was about to say, is this a dead end that just led to nothing? Oh, we can go around here now and we can probably get down to that catacomb that we saw, right? Ooh, if this goes down, which I think, I think it does, it might go up. This leads to your favorite area in the game. Oh boy. It went up instead of down. Hmm. Maybe I just had to get off of it real quick and then I could have been able to go down. Give me a 12 rune right now. Magic grease, okay, why not? Note I did not say the most fun or most enjoyable or the best to properly manage. Oh, yeah. I keep getting these, these furrow crawling things that are useless to me. You know what? Those are literally really just for online, right? Shouldn't it think they like have a thing where they detect that you're not an online player, so maybe they replace the online items with stuff that I can actually use, even if it's just runes or something? I feel like that'd be nice. Like, I guess you could technically use that stuff for NPC stuff, but like most of the time you don't really need to, right? Are they actually like worth money? Like a decent amount of money. Wait, is that where the blue thing was pointing? Is that where it's like a blue? Hmm. Whoa, that's a dead end. I instinctively I was gonna start going this way. Now is there anything over here? Or is this just another empty spot that's just an empty spot? Are they trying to tempt you to like jump onto that? If they're inexpensive to craft, I feel like they shouldn't put them in like really special looking spots like that. What? I haven't seen you in forever. My utmost thanks. 
Okay. For bringing me to the base of the Erd Tree. Here, I can govern my own movement. And thus, the accord is fulfilled. I shall depart to ascertain the purpose. I feel like this would be a more powerful given. moment if you so actually I showed up more, but I think I maybe saw you twice before this and it was and like the forever power ago. To turn runes into strength. Here, with you, I wish you luck in realizing your ambition. You have fought long and hard. I have no doubt you will become Elden Lord. Oh, uh, it's Elden King, throne. get it right. All right, did she actually like give me something from that or was she just trolling? Oh my God, we have a lot of runes, you better level up. Uh. Oh, look at how much my deck dex adds now to my right sword. And my left sword is like getting some as well. That's pretty sick. It's because of all the level ups we, we upgrades on our swords, huh? I think I want to put some decks in here. I'm starting to wonder if I should start doing more health again since I uh that guy was doing moves to me that was doing like Sometimes it seemed like 90% of my health bar. I look at the difference now. Left arm armament one gets a huge boost from that though. That's kind of weird. But uh, Dex is now doing a whole three points in, into the right sword, two points into the left sword. Too bad stamina still only adds one point. For the for the vigor, go for 40 minimum. A lot of people go to 60 by endgame. I'll do I'll do one into health and one into dex, I think. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I, f I just feel like there's still like that wasn't even a big boss. And he was like doing so and then those little like those two knights by that other boss I hated. That dude, those dudes were doing like 90% of my health bar in just one or two hits as well. So we only need, uh... oh, we do have enough for another one. Whoops, for some reason I thought we were going to need to eat some runes. Doc finished the game with 35. Wow. I mean, that's all I had right now. I did have very heavy armor, at least. If that helps, I don't know how much that helps. I guess it has to help to some degree. Let me guess, this door's gonna be locked. It's a shortcut. It's blocked shut. What the hell is that? That looks like a damn Yu-Gi-Oh card. It looks like kind of like the dragon, uh, what's he called? Someone might know what I'm talking about. It's like dragon Piper or something. Like he plays the pipe and he, he's like, to be used with, uh... I think he was in the Kaiba starter deck. Hoodie, Hoodie's saying 60 as well. In fact, you were running really low, apparently. Ow. There's one talisman I think I want to wear already, but I don't have room for it. I only have two slots for my talismans. So I'm waiting until I get a fourth slot. That was a big one. Gold rune 10, nice. Whoa, it's a big stone dragon. We, we've not fought in any proper dragons this whole game, by the way. Not even the smaller ones. 
I don't know why, it just... Oh, you seem kind of, once you get behind him. See, this seems like something that would have happened earlier in the game. Like, he would have did more damage to me near the start of the game. And it would have been a lot tougher, and the whole thing is get around to the back of him. It feels weird that he was just put here this late into the game where the fire didn't really do much to me. I'm also kind of disappointed that that draconic guy didn't give me any dragon spells when apparently that's the only one I'm able to use. I was I was honestly hoping he would give me something like that. Ow. Dragons are the only source of dragon spells. Dang. Too bad the enormous one. If I knew that, and I killed that enormous dragon, and I didn't get a spell, I would have been a little disappointed. Uh-oh. I didn't mean to do that. I hope I could call that back up. I didn't want to go down there yet. Oh! You sneaky, sneaky. I was the one being sneaky, but they, like, they counter-sneaked me. I did unlock access to a dragon spell? How come I don't have it? <laughs> these dudes are so goofy. These guys too, like these guys... Why were these guys locked behind one of the harder bosses that I fought? And they're like one of the easier... Is it because of my build that they're easy? Because I make them flinch and I melee? Like, are these guys actually harder for, like, people, like, m like, mages, for instance? Smithing stone four. I could use that towards my left sword, I think. No, I can't. I think we maxed it out. But who knows? Maybe we'll use it sometime in the future. Was I already here? Those are dead bodies. Ah. These guys are so soft. They're like marshmallows. Please tell me I didn't, like, ruin the progress here because I didn't go down that elevator. I'm pretty sure I don't have dragon hearts. I think I would have remembered that, but let me check anyways. Where would the dragon hearts be? I guess it would look like a heart, so I'll just try to look for one of those. What about these? Oh wait! No, that's a beast liver. And that's a lump of flesh. Wait! Nope, those are butterflies. Wait! Nope, that's a sliver of meat. I'm guessing this would be... Section? I don't know. All these spells I can't use. Oh, well, I didn't know the dragon heart was a key item. I didn't, I didn't see that you said that. Key items, key items, key items. Uh Oh, I have five dragon hearts. When did I get those? Maybe I got them all from that giant... Well, it had to have been from the giant one, right? So that giant dragon had at least five hearts inside of him, that's kind of crazy. I'm gonna go down here, I guess. Oh, I've already been down here? See, the elevator went down without me, and it looks like this is like one of the only places where you can't call the elevator back up, so I don't know what to do. Will I survive that fall?
Of course, the one time that I get off the elevator. And the elevator positions save in this game. Right? Church in South Khalid. Craft a rainbow stone. Uh, am I able to do that? Oh, I can. I have a lot of these. Oh, I already had one, apparently. Does that mean it's safe? What does purple mean? Wait, that does mean it's safe? If it doesn't smash, okay. Okay, good. I'll take the damage. I knew these guys were gonna be alive. They can't fool me. I'm a professional. This gun holds seven bullets. I'm a professional. Commoner's garb. Oh boy, that's what I always wanted. That'd be cool if you could just pick it back up and use it again. <laughs> But he's yelling, go. Where do you want me? What, to the, to the Khalid thing you were talking about? Ow. Perfumer's gloves. That's like a funeral thing, right? Preserving boluses. Ew. Ew. Oh, you did the same thing with this elevator? That's funny. At least I wasn't the only one. I could jump to that rooftop, but I probably wouldn't get any reward out of it. No, in this game. Check this. Oh no, that guy got a shield. Oh, you're not dead? Oh, they killed me? What the hell? Since when did they do that much damage? I didn't even realize my health was that low. Damn it. God damn it. I had no idea my health, like, I don't know what happened there. They caught me off guard, I guess. Uh, I don't even know where that last save... Wasn't the last save point, like, just way back? Quite a bit. God damn it. Can I just... Okay. As long as they don't see me, this one, I think, was gonna do something, so I just took care of it. that last time. I didn't give you the chance, I guess. I don't have to fight, but this one probably gives you a decent amount of runes. Let's see. Thousand, yeah, three hundred, yeah. That's that's. Didn't I beat like a that big freaking demi human with the wings, and it took me a while, and it was really tough, and it just gave me like two thousand. I just don't get this game sometimes.
It was a crippled version of the gargoyle, which I think is the thing I was talking about. So it makes extra less sense that it gave me more. So you just have to go down here every time. <laughs> uh, oh, I was hoping I'd land on that. Well. I guess now I should just send it back up so if I die again, right? But then... Yeah, I could just teleport back, so I don't need this to get back up. So I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna send this back up. Bye-bye. Was that? I didn't know what he was doing. All right, so let's not underestimate these guys this time. I don't know what it was exactly they did. They gave me trouble, but they they got me. you could do a heavy swing boom and then hold again for another heavy swing wow i did not know that wow you can always hold the next one that's cool i shouldn't go this way because i didn't go this way last time apparently What? Well, I'm about to lose my damn runes. I don't remember them doing all this last time. Jesus. I, did I go the wrong way again? I don't not remember having all that trouble. I must have went this way. I goofed up. I need to get those runes. Or before... It's not over here. So I didn't go this way either. Roll into an R1. <sighs> I'm gonna lose my runes. No! on these idiots that's so uh. man how did i go the wrong way because the other way i hadn't been and this seemed like it was the only other way i'm so confused place is like a damn maze oh that sucks I know you told me to taper my expectations, but I don't get why this is your favorite part of the game. Honestly, I don't get... It's... it's... Every time you die, you gotta go way back through this crap all over again. I don't even want to fight them. It's probably gonna cause me problems, but I'm, I'm over it. But being a maze is a bad thing. Obviously, or else I would have found my freaking runes the first time and I wouldn't have lost my runes. And then I had found even more runes. I probably would have had enough to level up. I know I gotta fight these idiots all over again. At least these ones don't wake up, unless you hit them. You 
don't flinch from your normal. I'm gonna lose those runes. I'm gonna freaking lose those runes. I know it. And I don't even know where they are. And what is this? A whole new new area? When did that happen? Oh, and another th where? Where? Where am I? I'm losing those runes now. Apparently I never picked up his stuff. How is this even possible? I definitely went through there before. Jesus Christ. Well, a maze is maybe nice if it's not full of these normal enemies that could just kill you in two seconds, I guess. Look at how much damage it does. Just from his little freaking dagger. And he can do moves that, like, have super armor, apparently. I was, I was trying to figure out what was going on there. And he's fast. Oh, he's not dead yet? That's nice. Like, if it was just a maze, maybe, but it's like, every time these guys kill me, I'm gonna have to, like, go through the maze to try to find... The freaking my runes over again and hope they don't kill me so I have another set of runes I have to find. Oh great, he woke up. Great. Yup, now I gotta come back and get my runes again. And hope I don't turn the wrong, wrong corner or something. If these are the layers, then this is just not a good layers to be uncovering. I mean, unless they like put save points throughout them, but apparently not. Oh, of course I can't use my damn horse. I was hoping I could at least use my horse. Of course not. Okay, whatever. I am not ignoring those runes. Are you kidding me? That's like half as much as I need right to, to level up already. I would have had enough to level up if I didn't lose my first group of runes. Of course I forgot to send this back up, because the fact that we have to remember that... Of course, and I landed on the button. Oh my, okay, so convoluted. Don't forget to do this extra unnecessary step just so that you can be back to default of when you first went through. Okay, at least they're right freaking here. These guys are pissing me off. I want them dead. Okay, he's dead. Oh! You're quiet. I like how this fast guy has super armor on some of his attacks. That's really neat. I do not get Like, if you're going to give someone a bunch of armor, they need to, like, be wearing armor or be, like, a bulky dude. You can't have it be some little dude and wearing cloth. Wow. That's a weird glitch. Do you see that? Budding cave moss, that's me. Yeah, see, the, okay, I'm looking and I see the symbol right there, but I have no idea what that symbol means. Ok, 
Okay, there's that knight. That's what really gave me trouble. We, I dragged that knight in here and all those people were buffing him. So if I could take out the knight by itself. I have like a bunch of rings, Mizma. Okay, he looks like he's by himself, so I think I'm gonna take this opportunity. To, uh... I don't know how far he walks out though. Hmm. I wonder wait till he turns around because it's gonna give me more time to approach him. That was a short range thrust. And oh, you blocked it. Wait, how did I lose so much health? How did that happen? Yeah, you die. You should have been worth more than the big fire guy. Metal armor is weak to lightning. I guess that would make sense. Actually, I don't know if that makes sense or not. Part of me wonders if the lightning would just conduct to the outside and you none of it would actually electrocute you, if that makes any sense. And then part of me wonders if it would harm you. I feel like it could go either way. Maybe it depends on how closed off the armor is. This is playing a violin or But he's a bad guy. These guys are bad. go down there, but I don't know if that's a good idea. You'd have to wear a complete loop, like a full body mesh to make a Faraday cage. Plate armor is not that. Okay. Alright. I'll take your word for it. possibly get behind him. Oh, dude. Hell yeah. He flinches for my heavy attacks. I've not... Well... Yeah, that does a full ha half of my health bar. Ah, damn it. I'm trying to find a good moment to heal. There we go. And I'm just gonna do heavy attacks. I don't wanna... Oh! Okay, could do that. Good to know. Oh, blocked. Okay. Oh, careful with my stamina. Oh, I didn't realize he was still going. No. Oh. No, I don't know what to do there. No. This is just not good for me. Oh, he's not done. God damn it. Now I got to go all the way through and I have even more runes. And I have to fight those idiots in the, before this part. Or do I? No, because I think that's another direction. So maybe I could get away with just coming down. I don't know. It's a stupid maze.
Why didn't they give me a damn checkpoint already? Uh, I don't even know what Havels even is. This is just making me think of Dark Souls, like, oh boy, I have to run past these jerks for the fifth time. I love going past the same guys over and over again and then having to fight the same guys over and over again. It's my favorite. I love having to remember to send the... Oh, that's nice. Cool. Having to send that elevator back up, or else I have to jump down and take damage and heal. Well, some of them... I try not to aggro the ones that don't see me, Fac, but some of them just see you. Like, they just start attacking when you walk by in general. Maybe I could skip that and just go this way. <sighs> There's a knight right there, so I don't want to go that way. I think I have to go this way. And here comes those guys, so start moving. Okay, of one. He hit me while I was rolling, and it like, my roll kept going, but he still hit me. Okay. Wow. My walking while drinking was just fast enough to avoid that. Thank god. He's faster and stronger than me. That, I'm so glad. Oh, that almost screwed me over. Yeah, and then he has super armor. Like, it's ridiculous. It's a little guy. I know, but it's just because you explain that you don't have iframes during your whole roll doesn't mean it's a good thing. That's just explaining the thing that's bad. Okay, now I need to wait for this knight when he's not looking at me so I could go down and grab my runes that are down there with the other knight. But watch, he's gonna be walking this way right now, isn't he? Guess I should have went already. Unless he's gone, do they not respond? Oh, I think I could hear him. Stupid camera. Is he coming? He just finished walking over there, so now I'm gonna have to really wait. Probably my other favorite thing in this game, just waiting. You know, you gotta wait, you gotta wait. I could fight him, but then I... You know, there's a good chance I'll die and I'll lose my runes. Look, Fack, sometimes you shouldn't have to adjust your expectations. You need to, sometimes you need to put your foot down and say, this is a problem. I need to speak up and be vocal about it. So maybe enough people are talking that that's something they'll change in the future. If you're just quiet, that's when change won't happen. Stab him. Oh my god, I thought he was gonna get up and dodge it. Pick this up. Try not to... Okay, I dodged it that time. He blocked! No, don't block! No, don't hit! And he stabs, right? Okay. He 
blocked. Oh, and he tried to punish too. Oh god. Damn it, I tried to jump, but it was too late. Yes. He didn't do his Okay, he like did a delayed version of the stab. I had to heal twice because he could kill me and half my health bar in one hit. So if I only healed once, it wouldn't have been enough. Oh god. Oh great. He can kill me in one hit right now. I try to dodge through. He can kill me in one hit right now. I tried to use my Physic, but... <sighs> Come on. Use it! <sighs> I was hitting the wrong button, I guess. God damn it. <sighs> Great, now I get to have fun. Backtracking once again. All the way back here. To fight this one guy who's not even a boss. I feel like I should have just went and tried to fight that big boss if for some reason you're saying I shouldn't fight. Like how is this any better than that? I'm like struggling just to even get through. Like from the base enemies. And apparently the, the big boss that I'm told I shouldn't fight is like way I should have fought him a long time ago before I even got even anywhere close to here. Radon is optional. I thought he was one of the main big bosses that you had to fight. Why does everyone talk about have you, has he fought Radon yet? Has he fought Radon yet? No one asked if I fought Godskin Apostle yet. Nice. We just had to do that little extra. damage to warrant healing. Wait, you only have to fight two rune bears? I I fought two rune bears. Okay, I didn't- I thought that you, you had to fight all five of them eventually. I thought you just fight two to like progress and then you fight more later. I don't know. Whoa, they attacked extra quick that time. I missed. Ow. Come on, man. And I'm gonna die from these, I'm gonna lose all my runes. Yup! 20,000 runes! All gone! Wonderful! Awesome! Great! So much fun! Oh, such a lovely mechanic. Such a fun, lovely mechanic. They make you stress out. They make you take your time, slowly, Slowly, be so careful, be so careful. Oh, walk here, oh, walk here. Wait for the, the knight to walk up. Okay, now wait for him, okay. We wasted five minutes, okay, now you move on to here. Okay, be really careful fighting these guys. Okay, okay, take your time. Oh, you fought them, okay. Awesome, all right, what's next? Oh, okay, wait here. Oh, oh, 
all the stuff that you were being careful for that you wasted an extra 30 minutes to an hour doing, it's gone. All the extra work you put in doing that, it's gone. It's the most frustrating, like you're stressing over just being careful to save, to not to lose a thing. And then just the easiest little shit like that can happen and you lose it. It is a valid complaint. You keep saying you can stealth and you're not explaining what that means because I've tried to stealth and they see me. You might as well be saying you can Florgagorf or you can blah blah blah. Like I, that doesn't mean anything to me. Here's the thing, when I, I've ran past enemies before and they chase me and then they kill me. I've tried that before. This doesn't even matter anymore, it's like nothing. Now I am just gonna run because there's no point anymore. I put in all that work, I don't know, for the past 30 plus minutes. For nothing. All to save my 20, I already lost like 10, like 10 to 15,000 runes here, and then I lost. I've never lost as many runes as I've lost now in the entire probably 40 hours now I've played of the game. Oh, now it's just one of these guys. And now I can summon suddenly, except not on this side of him, I can't summon. Hmm, interesting. Hmm, interesting. I'm, I'm glad I got stuck in a corner there. That was nice. Like, sorry, I'm not, I'm not trying to get angry or whatever, but it's so frustrating when I put in so much extra work to be careful not to lose something, and then it's just, there's no point. It's just all wasted. And I hate wasting time. That's one of the most frustrating things for me. And I also only have so much time. Like, I can't play till, till midnight tonight. I have a homework assignment that I have to do tonight. Well, Mismo, I don't usually lose runes ever. It's extremely rare that I ever lose runes ever. It never, it doesn't happen because I'm usually really, I put in so much effort to be careful not to lose them. And I guess what Fak was saying is like, if I crouch walk through all this, I don't have to fight them, but then that's like another like 30 minutes added because I'm like slowly, like either way, I, whether I'm stealthing or I'm fighting carefully or I'm running, it's just extra stress that I'm worrying about, trying not to lose my stuff. There is nothing about the soul mechanic that I think adds anything good to the game in any way. There's just nothing. It only adds stress and makes you worry and makes you not prepared for like a boss fight because now you have to go grab your runes before you can start fighting that like there's so many things about it that are bad and i can't think of one reason why it's good and this is the last time i get to play the game too so it's also like you know i wish i could have had a little more progress like, I just feel like I'm always wasting time, wasting time. I'm just taking care of the people behind the bit. Now, see, now I know I have to take care of the people behind. Why is my camera not moving? My camera wasn't moving for some reason. That was weird. Um. Anyway. There's that big boss, so now it's like I have to take care of anyone who might follow me. Because I tried running past them, and then it just leads to that boss. And now I'm dead again.
Now I'm not even worrying about the runes and I'm just, I'm still just having to do it over and over again. It's still more waste of time. There's a grace past avatar you can just run to. Is avatar the giant wooden thing? Yeah, I would have been using my spirits Christmas out, but you can only use them in arbitrary parts of the game. Literally, the one part in this whole section they let me summon was in front of that giant guy, and as soon as you go near him, the summoning thing vanished. It's incredibly arbitrary and just random. This is, like, this is, like, the thing... And here's the thing, guys. If this game was just completely garbage, then I could just be like, well, okay, I'm just not gonna play it. There's no redeeming qualities. The reason why I get so extra frustrated is because it's so close to being like a game that I could really love. It's so close to being a game that I could really, really like, but there's, I've said this over and over again, but just in case there's anyone out there who hasn't heard me say it, like, it's frustrating because there's just all these little things that just ruin what I like, that what, what could be something that makes me really, really like it. It's just so close. It's like how Mega Man, one of Mega Man's fatal flaws is that your health, sorry, your lives can go to zero at the start of a level. And then there's no reason because then it's like, well, like, okay. If I forget to reset my lives by dying, then I might get far into the level and then die and have to restart and it's just annoying. It's as if this game has like 10 of those. Look at these guys. These are just enem these are just enemies. These are just minions. And just one little mistake and And there's not even a sense of, oh, I've gotten better. They're killing me more now. I have less to be careful about to where I'm like, you know, less to be stressed about. And they're killing me more. The only reason I'm killing them is because I don't want them to follow me. But I'm about to say screw it and just run past them again as well. My confidence isn't even broken. That's the thing. Every time I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna kick their ass. They're enemies, and then they kill me, and I'm I'm baffled. It's like, okay, that time they killed me. It's not even a confidence thing. It's just completely like I could go in and kick someone's ass without getting hit once. Like that guy never hits me usually. It's just it's just who knows. It's like playing the lottery. I can't ever find any consistency, and that's like, I guess, yet yeah, another one of those like Mega Man Live things. I mean, I don't run in and say I'm about to win, but I don't feel like they're gonna kick my ass. Or that they're not gonna kick, like, I don't know. It's just, I'm shocked that like, that they're able to even do that. Yeah, I'm just gonna try my best to run past them. Like Hoodie's saying. What's this, nothing? 2000? Him, I ought to kill, because he's gonna follow me, but... Yep, I knew those dudes were following me. But I'm gonna try to just get to that Grace, and I guess you said it's behind the giant guy. Where's the giant guy? Why isn't he... I didn't even see him drop down the first time. See the summoning? Now it's gone. Ridiculous. What's the summoning for if not him? And then they take it away. Where's the grace at? In here? Can't see. Okay. I'm. He's blocking me in. 
I ran past it. This way? Next to where he drops down. Okay, I didn't see it. Why would they put it right there? Nice. We get to go through it all again. Oh, so much fun doing the same part over again. And then you might get a little farther, might get less. Oh, this game I really detest when it pulls me down. It pulls me down to the depths of hell because it's really bad. And I'll ring a bell to stop that. I just want to do the fun parts, the challenging parts that are fun. Like the that, that boss, which was like... The dude that I fought on the horse that has annoying aspects to it itself, like, I prefer that a hundred times more than this, just going through these enemies that, like, sometimes that guy hits you, sometimes he doesn't, sometimes that guy kills you, sometimes he doesn't. Like, this just adds so much more uncertainty of annoyance. Annoyance of uncertainty, I don't even know. Like, I never want to see this opening part again in my life. I don't. Can I just run down here? Does this lead down to the spot maybe faster? I don't even care anymore. If this leads to it, I'm going to be a little annoyed because I feel like you guys should have told me that. It's not your guys' fault. I'm sorry. I'm getting... I'm just getting really... I'm getting sick of this. Is all that's to it, really. Yup, this looks like it leads right to it. Except I still don't know where the save is. And I skipped past those guys that were following me on top of it. I wish that I knew about this a hundred years ago. Is it up here? Where's the grace at? Please, someone tell me where the grace is. Please! Here's the thing, I feel like I could kick his ass. It's just everyone else that I was having to worry about at the same time. But I just want to get that grace first, so I don't have to worry about it. In here? I can see, okay, good. Man, do they put this... It's just... Here's the thing, like, this might not even have been a huge thing if they had just put the grace in a spot that made sense on top of it. Why Why didn't you reset? Right? Was it like someone threw something and then... I don't know. And now I'm gonna fight this guy. I can't remember how I fought these rock guys. I don't know if they bleed. I don't. The one, the the hard one I fought didn't bleed. I don't think so. I don't think I'm gonna try to make him bleed. So uh, I think I jellyfish them. If I remember. Dude doesn't even have a damn boss health for her. funny his attacks are simpler but because they are I feel like I'm not as used to him like I know I could kick his ass because that one that I fought uh in the rot the crimson rot area was like way crazier than this but I'm like expecting him to do all this crazy stuff and he's not, he's just doing like these little swings and it's like actually catching me by surprise. I wonder how much 
Time is wasted by the loading screens. It's gotta be like a good like, I don't know, 20 minutes. You know what's funny? I can't uh, even summon from this side, so I have to get over there first. Hopefully I can do this before he... He's a little farther back, at least. Maybe I did dual wield for this guy. Let me try my dual wielding. Like, I don't think it made him bleed, but I feel like, I don't know. I feel like maybe I did dual wield. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Because why would I if he can't bleed? That doesn't make sense. I just did, yeah, I just did my light attacks with my right hand. So that's what I did. Because then that way I can, like, add... I can do, like, as much as I want. Like, I can do one to be safe, or I can do... And he's poisoned, so that's cool. Or I can, like, do, like, three or four if he's really open. You can just add them and take them away. Depending on the situation. Yeah, that doesn't spew Crimson Rod everywhere, so... That's something you don't have to worry about. Did he, like, fall down? Are you kidding me? The other guy never did that. I feel kind of bad for this one. Yeah, I don't... I didn't think he could bleed either. Lord's Rune? And I got 10,000. What the hell's a Lord's Rune? Is it actually, like, a rune that gives you a bunch of runes? Lord's Rune. Used to gain an enormous abundance of runes. Is that like the big, big? Hmm. Betty can't grab stuff while jumping. If I could do my horse here, which I can't. I'd be able to get up there, so I need to figure out a different way to get up there. Did the game actually give that to me because I lost so many? Is that actually what happened? You, you would need to drop down from up there, it looks like. past that. I'm gonna look. Screw it. How long did it take me to get through that annoying area? Let's see. 40 minutes ago, we were still doing it. 50 minutes ago, we were still doing it. An hour ago, we were fighting the boss. Okay, it took me about an hour to get through that area that should have probably took me five minutes. And that's why those that's why that stuff is annoying to me. It's just too much of a waste of time. It's just too much of a time sink. If I was maybe like, and especially streaming, I hate wasting time. I hate wasting people's time. I hate not making enough progress. If I was like on a long plane ride or something, and, and I was playing this, then I would probably be a lot more okay with it. Because, like, well, I'm trying to waste time. That would probably be perfect. But it's too bad this game isn't for Switch. Oh, here's a shortcut, I think. Never mind, it's yet another shortcut that we don't have. Well, I'm in a new area now, Hoodie. I don't care about skipping stuff anymore. I only care about skipping stuff when I've been doing the same part 20 times in a row. 
This is fine if I fight stuff and I die and it's hard. That, that, that's totally okay with me. It's the repetition that gets to me. Oh, there's two of them. Okay. Well. Why didn't I heal? The hell am I? The weird spot. If Nintendo actually committed and they did a Switch Pro, they could run something like this. That would have been amazing. They might do it eventually, maybe, but it's... They're gonna milk out the regular Switch as long as they can before they have to do that. It's funny how Hoodie says, go up to the dragon. As if I saw a dragon. And as if... I have a brain, and I can see things. And then, that he gives me that credit. That, uh, is that another grace? No, I thought I saw like a glowy light, I think it was just the lighting being weird. There's a ladder that goes down here. Oh, this? I didn't even realize that this was the statue. I don't know what the heck this stuff was. I don't know where those guys went either. Hoodie, you know I'm not good at this game. Let's not hit ourselves. Ooh, what is that? I'm gonna fall off and die, that's what it is. Oh, but that's a ladder, okay, so. Mm. I mean, where else do you go, right? Okay, good. Another rune arc. I've not used a single one of those. Buddy, I don't even parry. Now you're just getting silly. Ah, oh, you little jerk. Oh, I hate when he does that little, like, turns on his heels like a, a tire screeching like a cartoon character. That always makes you vulnerable. I feel like there's never a reason you'd want- Oh! Punish. Ah, oh, I was still too slow. Damn. Ouch. I didn't realize he was going to be stunned right there. That really surprised me. Oh, oh yeah, unsheath my break through his shield, huh? And it doesn't. But... Well, it just doesn't. <laughs> I'm about to say, but I could punish him, but no. <laughs> or it gives me enough time to dodge, but no. <laughs> Not true. Oh, I'm out of stamina. I <sighs> couldn't roll right there. The most in insulting thing, because you know how like, they, they preload your inputs in like a, a, a while ahead, is when they freaking... Uh, when you try to roll but you're too late, so something hits you. So you get hit, and then it inputs your roll that you were trying to dodge the hit with after you get hit. It's the most insulting thing. It's like, really? You can't just cancel that out? I've been hit already. Why am I have... Okay. I'm glad it's a weakling, but uh, why do I have gold around me? Oh, I have that slow heal from my physic. That's right. Oh, I just got a gold rune 11. And another save spot. Where, where were all these save spots a second ago? That's what I'm talking about. Arbitrary game design placement. Doesn't make any sense. That stuff before was way harder. Had way harder stuff in between. 
It literally had multiple of that night, and then this one's like one night. And then... And then a save spot. It's ridiculous. Oh, it's one of those giant guys, which I have beaten before, but I don't think we need to go... Well, I just did find that save spot. No, fact, I, I... Hoodie's just being silly. I, I don't parry. We know this. I don't parry. You know this. Bowling. No, rolling. Because <laughs> that's what I actually do. I roll. I don't parry. Gold rune 9. At least we're finding runes to kind of make up for all those runes I lost. What is this going to do? I have no idea what that just did. It summoned this guy. Uh, hey, Flower of Life. No, I, I, I'm I'm actually playing offline. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have PlayStation Plus or anything, so I've, I've just been playing offline. And I also have no idea what I'm doing, so I don't know if you would want to join my game anyways. Cane Sword, interesting. Open the big door on the street with the Erd Tree Avatar. Uh, there was a big door. I'm thinking of just trying to fight this guy because he's here and I do have that save spot that's right there. Um, yeah, I'm just going to rest there real quick to refill my stuff. And I forget if this guy could bleed or not. I feel like he doesn't. Can I summon? Summoning would be pretty sick. Oh! That's the last seed I need to make an extra flask. Now I realize this for stairs. I can't summon, but... There goes nothing. falling down for nothing. Oh, did he? Oh, but... Ah, damn it! I had to jump up. I, it's always with the giant enemies. They fall down. I didn't see, like, the embers coming from his head, so I couldn't tell that he was... That's what he was doing at first. Usually they have, like, big, big embers coming out, I think. This one actually seems less uh, jumpy than the other one I fought, so I feel like I'm gonna be able to take care of him. I feel like doesn't mean it's true. Yeah, because he's in a much smaller area. I guess he's forced. Oh, no, there he goes. Oh my god, the lag. Okay. What? Okay. Okay, did you guys see that? He hit me with some thing that didn't make sense relative to where both of us were. I'm guessing it's like if you're on the ground in front of him, it's supposed to hit you. That was silly. Feel free to clip that, or rewind, or just take a look for yourself. That was, that was... Come on. Oh, he actually killed me. The other one didn't have an attack like that. Oh, also, I just realized he has like a weird face. But guess what? This isn't nearly... This isn't just even a fraction as annoying as that other stuff I've had to do. Because there's a checkpoint right before it. I don't have to run through a bunch of BS just to get back to this. You guys saw that, right? He was way above me. He did like a spinny attack. None of the attack effects were anywhere near touching me, but I still took a bunch of damage. You guys saw that. Come on. Let's be real here. Let's be honest. Let us be. For real. Wrong way. Wait, that's the wrong way. Why is the... Oh, it's just dark now, so I got confused. What does that lead to?
Really? Really? They gotta put my stuff right there, huh? Cool. He's gonna see me when I go to grab it. And yeah, I know, it's they put it the last 10 seconds or whatever, but still. Lock onto the big guy. Thank you. Goodness gracious. I think these guys are resistant to bleed because they're like only bones pretty much. That's what it seems like. But I think I tried to make the other one bleed and it just wasn't happening. Could be wrong though. Ow. That, he, he hit me. Okay. Not like that, but when he was doing the spinny part, I was way below him and he... Come on. Wow. Wow. Okay. They didn't do anything, but... Uh, tell me how you really feel. Wow, that does a lot of damage. Doc, you're telling me you were, you were having bosses deal 90% of damage you in one hit and you weren't thinking to put your upgrade your health anymore? Wait, the other one I fought of this only gave me 2,000 runes. Is this even going to be worth fighting? If he kills me again, I might just say forget it. I got what I came here for. I mean, it looks like this path keeps going, but I could probably sneak behind him if I have to. Where did you come from? Get out of here. Get out of here! Where did this guy come from? Wow. I like how it showed my potion start to take effect. That guy never showed up before. There's like no reason for, that he, for him to have shown up right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna... I already fought one of these guys, and they gave me only 2,000 runes, so that's like... I'm not going through that much trouble just for that to happen again, if that's what happens. But they're probably going to put my runes right in front of him, watch. So I'm gonna be forced to fight him again. Or I guess I could grab them and then run back and just rest again. That could reset him, but... Oy vey. Yeah, now I could probably level up. Um... I've also not seen what's down there yet. I still don't know where that archer just showed up from out of the blue. Oh wait, was it not down here? Golden seeds. I didn't get any more tears, right? And what do I need to level up? What is the memorized spell thing? Is that just like a weird equip thing that's there, but it's also in your normal? I need 12,000. 
300. Uh. Um. I actually don't know if I have enough to level up without using up like all my st golden runes. I don't know, I might just just skip past them. I mean, there's still more stuff here I've never... Like, I don't even know what's this way. Oh, right, I have been there, actually. It's just those. Never mind. Wait, what's this way? Dead end with nothing. Wait. Dead end with nothing. I don't know why more people always show up so late. Guys. I I I am going to have to like stop fairly soon. Guess we got the cane sword now dead end with nothing. Well, it's a dead end with nothing now. I think th this is where he came from. The wind from one of his attacks probably came down here somehow. Uh... I don't know where I should be going. It's like they added Metroidvania to... Dark Souls, which just makes it, like, even worse for me. Do I need to climb up on this, maybe? There's a guy up there. I should probably take care of him. These are the weak ones. Oh, uh, how did you see me? Uh, that's like another arbitrary thing. Sometimes the enemies are blind as a bat, deaf as a doorknob. Other times, you drop a pin from two cities away and they, they get alerted. And I swear, it's like the same types of enemies do that, too. It's not like just a, a typing difference. Whoops. Oh god. Okay. I could keep going up there, or I could go down this way. This way leads down, it looks like. So maybe I should go up? I mean, that looks like it's a dead end down there, though, so maybe there's something down there. Oh my god, I'm getting so dizzy. Should I go down first? Just up? Okay, I'll just go up. I don't really have much time to get distracted at this point anyways. At least I have a little bit of super armor on my heavy jump. Guardian sorts. There should be a samurai boss where I could just get like a really sick katana from. Grace? I think I see a glowy Grace in there. That's not a Grace. Oh, come on! Come on! It looked like a Grace! Oh my god. Okay, whatever. 
That was a trick. I should have did my jellyfish. My jellyfish is always... Well, there's all the wolves dead. That didn't take very long. Am I not hitting him? Am I not dealing damage? Is this like a trick boss? I feel like my attack was going right through him. Okay, good. It, it, I guess because it wasn't making as much of an impact noise. Why wouldn't they put a grace before the boss? Now I gotta sneak behind those guys. I gotta run up and kill all those guys on the roots all over again. I can't even be excited or interested. All I'm thinking about is when he kills me is what I'm gonna have to go through all over again. That's one of the, another fatal flaw that make, stops me from getting engaged in the game. I really doubt he can bleed. So I'm not going to try making him bleed. Oh, you weren't done yet? Cool. It's going to use this because I was. Okay. Instant just smack me in the face. I don't know anything. And he can't be stunned or anything because he's just a damn spirit. He has like infinite poise. I don't know why I did that. I didn't need to, I didn't need to do that. Well, he doesn't flinch. I think the whole point is that he's spectral. Because he doesn't even flinch from your, your moves whatsoever. Like, he doesn't even register that he's getting hit. It just does damage. And I'm dead. And I didn't even... I did maybe half of his health. And there goes all 20,000 of my runes. And now I'm going to have to keep coming back to him over and over again. Okay, at least there was a stake, I guess. But, like, if there was a grace before that, I could have used my runes up before the fight, so it's still annoying. It's still a problem. No, I'm sure there's a stake, but I'm just saying, if there was a grace instead... Everything in this game is a surprise! This means nothing! They're, they've earned nothing here, because the whole game is random. All it is is like, it's not like a whoa, that kind it's like, oh, okay, and more bullshit. All right, I'm gonna try my jellyfish this time even though he probably can't get poisoned either. I have to get my stuff before I... Wow, the jellyfish got his attention quick at least. Wow, he gets his attention real quick. The horse, like, he would have to get hit, like, a few times before he'd start going towards him. 
It never ceases to amaze me when the jellyfish is like the optimal spirit to summon. Because I'm pretty sure he was like one of the first ones I ever got. Not that I have many, I only have four. But it's usually like the wolves or the or the jellyfish seem to be like the best ones. Are you done? Nope, now you're done. Wait a minute, my light attack seems to do about as much damage as my heavy attack, so maybe that's an optimal way to fight him, is to try to get multiple light attacks in. Wow, and he like tries to attack a thing that's too far away. <gasps> he got... No, I'm trying to do the thing, but you have to like stop moving for a while. Ah, oh, that would have been sick. Like, you have to completely wait for your animation to reset after your attack, and you can't be moving. Yeah, I'm pretty sure my light attack's doing like the same exact amount of damage as my... Damn it. Come on. Jellyfish, you're so awesome. Oh my god, that did a bunch of damage! I don't know what he's weak against that my unsheath does, but he sure is weak against it. Oh, Jellyfish is dead. But you did such a good job. Oh, I thought he was done. I can't... I don't know when he's done. <sighs> Got stuck behind that. That's funny. But now I can't lock onto him. He wasn't done, but at least I got a hit in. Damn it, I was trying to be careful. Not be too low on health at any point. I keep uh, falling for that. That's it. Oh, a talisman pouch. And I got an achievement for that. Thank the Lord. What? Why did he give me so many runes? Holy crap. He gave me as much as a godskin apostle, but he was like way easier. That was like a straight like 80,000 runes right there almost, I feel like. Jesus Christ. Uh, You guys just tell me what to do real quick. Final fight next. In general, like, it would suck to have to start it and then have to stop. Um, 40 Vigor just right now? That seems like a lot to put into one stat. Suddenly. Like, surely I would want some more decks for my sword. Mind? I never use mind. Would that even give me enough for another unsheath? Plus, unsheath is only that good against certain bosses. Some bosses, I can't even use it on them. Like, Godskin Apostle, you would never be able to use unsheath. Never. If you try to use unsheath on Godskin Apostle, he would hit you back every time. So it really depends on the enemy. So I don't know about relying that much on the, on the unsheath. It was just really good against him. If it's one point into mind, maybe. You used? 
Katana with unsheath on God's skin apostle. You're a god feck. I don't know what to tell you. I could barely get a light attack off, you know, without getting hit. Barely. With the ones we are supposed to be able to hit him. And you said you were a sorcerer, so why the hell would you be using Unsheath anyway? I don't know. I never use Unsheath, that's the thing. I feel like it'd be a very specific circumstance, and it worked just fine enough there. It's, it's not like I needed to get him with another Unsheath. If anything, unsheathing was dangerous in that fight, too. It was only really useful when the jellyfish was distracting him. Do I need more stamina? I wish the stamina gave you more. It just doesn't give you much. What is robustness in the body? What does that even mean? Christmas of one level is like 30,000 runes at this point. Instead of mind, you could put one in a blue flask. That's a good point. I do have a lot of flasks at this point. I mean, if I'm downing 10 red flasks in a boss fight, I'm probably not doing the boss fight well enough anyways, right? I'm just going to do this. I don't know. And then, uh... How much do I need? 10,000 more? About 10,100 and so. How many do th does this give you? And this, and then this. Would that be enough? I don't want to, like, over, like, go take too much and then I'm holding a bunch still. I don't want to pop all the souls because then I might have some excess by accident. Plus, I like. Look at how it gets bigger and bigger. Isn't it cool? Look at that. Isn't this neat? Look at it. Look at it go. I want one of every type. G10 is 5,000 within itself. So. Yeah, we only need 10,000. So we could do one of those. And then we can do a few of these maybe, and that would probably be enough. There we go, I actually overshot it by accident. Hoodie, please. Give me a break of that Kit Kat bar. More into decks. Um, Vigor or Dex? My sword will get stronger. And I'll be able to kill things faster. Why do more and more people keep joining? You know what I'm tempted to do with the so many people joining? Instead of a Walter time break, I might take a break. Because really the problem is I have an assignment that's due at midnight and I know I should have did it already. I was trying to do it before the stream started and I didn't quite get it finished. I could take a break and finish the assignment and then continue. Uh, my smithing stone. I don't think I have enough. I have two fives and I think I need like Oh, that would be enough to upgrade my left once, but I feel like we should save up to upgrade my right again, right? 
Oh, whoops, this is the wrong one. I forgot my bad. I only have one five. There's actually a lot of Kit Kat flavors. In Japan, they have this Kit Kat cafe and it has like all these special flavors that you can't find anywhere else. I read these two comments together by accident, but more importantly, I like dark chocolate. I tried to get my my homework done before I started, but I didn't get a finish in time. I did most of it, and then, uh, like, I could legit probably finish it in, like, 10 minutes, I bet. And then I was like, well, I'm probably not going to stream that late. And then, of course, this always runs late because it takes forever to do anything. Um, all right, I might, okay, I'll take a break and do it, and I'll, I'll just be quick, I'm pretty sure I could do this in like 10 minutes, and then I'll come back and I guess I'll try to fight that one last boss or whatever you guys are leading me to right now, so this isn't a wall through time, oh, it's the other one, sorry, OBS is freezing up. Give it a second, I'll fix it. And, uh... I'm not gonna play music, I'm just gonna be quick. I'll be back. In a bit.
Okay. All right, we're back. And everyone left. The end. Usually I look at the time to see how long I took, but I was like rushing so much. Yes, I did my homework that was due. I, I had finished most of it. I just didn't quite finish it before I started. Um. And then someone was nice and fed Walter for me. So I just had to take him out. He went pretty quickly, actually. Um, yeah, okay. So we can relax now. My, my blood pressure is dropping because I don't have to worry about the homework. And Walter's been taken care of. Back and hoodies here, and that's all that matters. So I go up here now? Or was there another place I needed? Oh. I don't think we agreed on popping all the rooms. I don't know about all. I think I already got something from here, huh? The only reason... Uh... The only reason I did it so fast is because I was on a timer and when I'm... When, when I'm on... Like... The 11th hour of something, it just... It just gets finished a lot easier. Yeah, I actually watched a video on that recently. Apparently that's like a trait of ADHD. Because a lot of times you like find it hard to do something. Or you like second guess your ability of doing it a lot. And so it just takes a long time. Like even just starting things sometimes. And then like when you have a hard due date and it's almost due, suddenly it just like flows out of you because like you're forced to do it and that that it called me out so hard because there was so many times in school where oh another safe spot right after the other safe spot once again what is this game oh this guy's got some health on him Lodi. Whatever, I'm just gonna... 3200. Yeah, some people work, technically work better under pressure, even if it's not the smart or healthy thing to do. And unfortunately, I am one of those people. Just half expecting it to be another trap. I'm still not sure if that was actually a trap or me being dumb. Blessing of the Erd Tree. It's a pretty small room if they were going to have a boss there. I don't know where that blessing is. Q-Fact with his smart aleck remark of, if only it told you what type it was. I don't know what type it is. It's an incantation. Uh, there we go. When did I get divine fortification? I completely forgot about that. Well, I can't use it anyways, so... 
Uh, are you sure it's an incantation? Oh, there it is. Oh, once again, it's another faith spell. Goodness gracious. Oh, that looks like a boss door. Uh, wait. There should be a summon sign outside the boss. Isn't that what that was that I just activated? Oh no, you mean like an actual thing that you can summon someone for. Well, it might be one of those that I need to like meet the person first, right? Let me check. Oh. Oh. I thought it was like a writing on the ground. Is that the girl that would sit by us? It, it is, right? Like very rare, rarely. All right. Is she summoned? I don't see, oh, there she goes. All right, here we go. The cooperator. <laughs> I still like how they're called cooperators, it's so funny to me. Oh, a big boss! Right? We haven't had a cutscene before a boss in a long time. Or at least a significant. What the heck? It's just what that one is guy again. With these thrones? He does have a face. Godric the Golden. Is that the guy I just killed? The twin prodigies, Mikola and Melania. Tequila and Tequala. I didn't get a fight that guy. Fighter Rikard. Luna Princess Rani. Willful traitors. Oh. Isn't it a little... This, he's got to have something different, right? It would be anticlimactic to fight My a Margo. And then fight a fake Margo in a field. And then suddenly another Margo at another time. There's got to be something different about this one. Emboldened by the flame of ambition. Okay, he's got a new sword. Have it writ upon thy What is this gimmick? The sword just kills you in one hit. By King Morgoth, last of all kings. Uh, well, that was a bad idea, apparently. Can someone distract him, please. Where's my? Do something. Say something. What? There we go. I don't know if jellyfish is a good idea, but we'll see. Can you bleed? I think he can bleed, right? He's not made of wood or bones, so he should technically bleed. Oh, my jellyfish of all things? That's what you're focusing on? You monster. Actually, we're turned around. Oh. Oh God! Please. This feels like cheating. <laughs> They're just like fighting so many people. Like, that wasn't even directed towards me. Okay, so when you hit him in the back, he turns around quick. Did she do that? Can that hurt me? I don't know. I think I need to be careful. I don't know if he's bleeding or not. Oh no, he's doing that. Yeah, that must have been him the other time as well. Oh! They're still coming. That's not good for me. 
Oh, he's downed. Oh, but it's not... Okay, I thought that was a punishment. I was wrong. Can he bleed? I don't think he's bleeding. I feel like I need to stop trying to make him bleed. She's, I think she's died. Can I help her? <laughs> nope, she's dead. Oh, let's, oh, why don't you tell me another time? Wait, she turned into a tree? Can I do something with that? It's kind of weird, ain't it? Do you like get healed if you're near it or something? Okay, I guess it's just a design choice. Ow. Please. so slow. I feel like I need to just two hands. I don't think he bled once. But then again, I never see the bleed, so how would I know? Oh, I was trying to do my unsheath, but I held the wrong button down. That was my bad. <sighs> Tree is a spell, I think it heals. He's not weak or resistant to bleed. It seems like I would have been hitting him enough to make him bleed with the distraction, but I, uh... I guess not. I guess not. Also, I don't have OBS on the screen. I'm a dummy. Things all over the place. I was trying to use Unsheath, but I, I uh... It was not to be... Well, I pressed the wrong button. I pressed L1 to set it up instead of L2. But I don't think he bleeds, though. That's the only thing. I'm not sure still. Like, you say he's not resistant to it, but maybe he has some kind of natural resistance or something. No, I'm sure he does bleed. I'm just saying he's probably harder to make bleed than that would suggest. Uh, I guess I'll try it again. It won't hit me this time before I summon my jellyfish. Oh, I gotta get my runes, first of all. Firstly... Put in kill my jellyfish in the meantime. Oh, I actually got him. It didn't do that much damage, though. It did, like... Okay. Might as well just use it on him while I can at the moment. So this should heal me if I'm... It does heal me. Sweet. I thought it might have, but I wasn't sure. And he's using similar looking attacks, so it's kind of... You know. 
Iffy. Oh, it's gone. I think it just vanished. Ow. Nope. Stop. Oh, Jellyfish is dead. Oh, really? That wasn't even meant for me. Man, I feel like we're doing worse, but that's always a pattern with me, isn't it? The first attempt's like the best, and then until I beat him, if I beat him. Ow. thought that would have did more damage. I say as he starts comboing me, well. Yep. That's always how it is every time. I get lucky on my first attempt. And then that's the best attempt I'll ever have until I somehow get lucky and beat him. If I beat him. The first one always makes it seem like, oh, okay, I could beat this guy, and then it's like, you realize the truth. Dude, it's not because I say it, it just happened right now. I didn't, I legit thought like, oh, I think I'm gonna beat him in my second try, and then I did way worse. Say I'm going to learn from each attempt and slowly get better. I guess I know what the tree does now, but to be fair, that's just because you told me what it does. Where are my souls at? They're always way back there. I guess it's not that many, so it's not a big deal, but it's like, I might as well grab them while I can. Ouch. I hit that one too many times. Damn, freaking fireballs? Hey, don't forget, there's two other people here. Oh, there goes the jellyfish. The heck, why did I stab like that? I don't know what I did right there to do that. It seems like there's an open path of swords to get to him, but I, I don't know, I guess I'm dumb. Like, I'm just saying, my third attempt was worse than my second attempt, and my second attempt was worse than my first attempt. I'm just saying the truth, that that's kind of like reverse learning in a way. I'm just, I'm just saying that, <laughs> I'm just saying that's what happened. Say I'm a teapot short and stout. Instead of saying that, say what you learned or what you want to try to figure out. Uh, 
Well, I can't level up weapons, Hoodie, or else I would have did that already. I don't have the stones. And I'm not using a euphemism. Tell you what, Hoodie, if I die again, which I probably will, then I'll see if I can use runes to, uh... To level up again. At least I died a little bit closer this time. No, don't go to the jellyfish, he's the weakest. Well, my jellyfish is gone already. Damn it! The one time I dodged, I didn't need to. There we go. Bleed! Bleed! Damn you! Bleed! There we go. I made him bleed. I saw it that time. Oh, can it? Oh no! It's a trick. That's so cheap. It really looks like. A punish time. I'm just gonna not even try to go to him when the swords come down. Like, there seem to be safe zones, but still, when I try to run into him before it, it wasn't good. I missed. Whoops, I. That was an accident. Health's down more than last time. Okay. Jeez. She got hella impelled. Well, I think she's dead. You and your freaking 360 ass weapon slice. I bet I have enough time to get unsheath R2 during that sword summoning move. I would say the opposite. Stay away from him, because I've tried to go up and punish him during the sword summoning move, and I died from it faster. So I feel like that's, that's not a thing. Oh, but we have a talisman slot we're not using. I guess I completely forgot about it. I don't even remember when where we got that, but I do remember we got a, a third one. Alright, so what do we have right now? We have slowly restores HP. I forgot that I had one that just does that. Raises maximum HP. And then we can greatly raise maximum stamina. Raise we don't need equipment load. Raise attributes, increase damage taken. I don't want that. Raises faith, that won't help. Greatly boosts magical damage negation. That could be really useful, I would think. I don't know why it's not showing me the stat change on the right. That would probably be nice. Uh, unsheath R2 benefits from headshot poise damage. Why, why would I be more likely to get a headshot when he's raining down those freaking light swords, though? Final hit of chain attacks. Enhances charge attacks. A charge attack is, uh, just any... Yeah, charge attack, right? Arrows and bolts. Raises holy attack. Criticals, hits, restore HP. I don't know if I ever get those or not. Okay, magical damage defense isn't good. Gotcha. Um, I 
It isn't, though. Like, as soon as he starts to summon them, if I were to get to him, they would start raining on me already. I don't know, because I tried. Like, I tried to go up and punish him during it, and it just got me killed. I don't think that's a good example of something f that I learned... Well, he flips around immediately, though. When he's, like, sick and he looks like he's stunned, I could probably get an unsheath on him before he does the explosion, but... That raining swords thing... I, I don't know about that. Maybe the final hit of a chain... No, you don't have time to get chain attacks on him. I don't think you have time to do charge attacks, either. Unless your L1 counts as a chain attack, but it's just two hits. I wouldn't think so. It's so vague. What is it? Yeah, I don't know. I'm assuming a chain attack would be more than that. Oh. Uh... Yeah, I don't know, uh... Okay, Fag, I mean, if I'm right on top of him, maybe, but he always does the swords when I'm far away. I I'm just telling you. But I don't know which one to put. I don't know if I ever do criticals. I don't- I don't know... Stamina? Yeah, I guess... I was hoping for something better than that, but I guess that's better than nothing. Hit R1 over and over. So the fifth hit of that, which I do, I would not have enough time to do that to him. What if I one-handed? One, two, three, four, five. Yep, that's actually slower. Um, oops. That takes the longest of all. Do it with the double spam. Oh, yeah, I just did it right now. L1. That's, that, that one takes the longest. I have enough for one of those, and then maybe I can dodge whatever he's going to hit me back with. Like, that's it. So... I might go to two-handing one sword, or we'll see. I don't know. I'll keep trying two swords for now. Where are my souls at this time? Where are my souls at? Did I not pick them up? Ah, oh, I swear I was picking them up every time. How did that happen? Ah, uh, sorry. Let me look at your question. Uh, after he kills me, probably. There we go, I made him bleed right there, pretty good. Stamina, come on. Oh yeah, it goes up fast. There. I tried to, I tried to just keep hitting him, but he... I mean, I didn't die because I had full health, but... What? He did his, like... Fake out during this? That's cheap. Whatever, we're actually kind of wrecking him right now. Beaten by a jellyfish. Such shame. Damn these swords. Jellyfish gotta be dead now. Yeah, looks like it. Ah, you moved, you jerk. My second one came out like 
if it's too late to cancel. Oh, he throws that far. Okay. Good to know. I think we got him. Wow, okay. We got some stuff. He shriveled up real good. Oh, that's him. Where'd what's her name go? Done the Oops. earth tree wards off all. Dane approach. We are. We are all forsaken. <laughs> I think that was at least the fifth attempt. Oh my, I swear I was looking for the rune on the compass and I couldn't see it. None may claim. None shall pass. Wow, that guy gave me a lot of, like, 80,000 runes again. Or 90,000, I guess I had zero, right? This Godskin Apostle is way harder than that guy. I can't believe he gave me more than him. Oh my god, I almost have 100,000. Oh, the compass disappears when fighting a boss. That's why I was confused. On the PS5 version, it tells you the progress percentage, but not on the PS4 version. What the hell is this? Do I touch the wall of thorns or is it a big trap? Final boss? There should be a save that the guy, don't the bosses always drop save spots? Why didn't he drop a safe spot? Can you actually not go back? Let me check. Wow, okay. I think you guys are trolling me. I still feel like I'm cheating with summoning those people. It's like, it, it takes his attention off of you so much. Uh, impenetrable thorns refuse all, none may enter the Erd tree. Oh, that's the, the joke is that I have to do, I still have to beat a bunch of other bosses or whatever. There's a safe spot. Hello. Allow me a moment. You were unable to enter the Ur Tree. Prevented by the mantle, the thorns are impenetrable. A husk of the Ur Tree's being. The only way to stand before thee and become the Elden Lord. My purpose. So I'd like you to undertake a new journey to the Flame of Ruin. Far above the clouds. Then. And guide you. Down. Rolled medallion. Is this a better one? A red mark was made on the map about time. About time someone marks my map. Where's that one she gave me? It's not a talisman, is it? Wait, was that it down here? 
Sorry, didn't you say something, a question about, like, if I removed armor, would my thing turn light or something? My, my load, I guess? Key item. Oh, there it is. Operates grand lift, but we already did the grand lift. Remove your torch, shield, and crossbow. Uh, okay. I know, I don't even use my shield or my... I only use my torch and crossbow in very specific circumstances, so why the heck do I even have them? Good point. Uh, no, I still have a, uh... Assuming these don't have any weight to them. That doesn't look like they do. I still have a medium load. Arsenal Talisman. It just raised my max. It didn't make it become a not medium load. Unless that contributes to it. Why does it look like nothing's changing? Oh, I see. Because they weren't showing the... I could take off some armor. I don't know if that... It still doesn't. There, finally. Why, is there a, a difference? Light rolls travel farther. Wow, I feel like I'm fast too, because like my guy's usually not that far away from the screen, I feel like. So you're saying like those attacks where I would try to get away from... I mean, how much does armor really help? So this weighs 4.6. Wish it would just show the two numbers so I can like compare them more easily. Negative? What the hell? Why would anyone use this? That's horrible. Kinda cool. Negates 20% of damage, that's all. That's still a light load. sword. How much do swords weigh? Do swords not have weight? Hang on. Oh, I see. 5.5. Nah, that's still medium. Alright. 
Well, thanks for trying. It's like, even like my armor, like I haven't found any better armor. I haven't found, like, I feel like a whole point of these games is you're supposed to keep finding better and better equipment, but I've been using like the same equipment forever. I, I don't know how to get to the massive jar. I saw him in the from afar. I know he was near the the, the rotting crimson. Did I have I leveled up yet off of the oh I haven't. Well, I like this weapon, but if I found like the same type of weapon but better, I would use it, but they don't give it to me. I have like a million weapons that I can't use or just isn't suited for me. Which is like another thing, like I feel like whatever class you seem to be leaning towards, the game should have a higher chance of rewarding you that type of thing, because otherwise, if I was... Hey. If I was a... Uh, an intelligence faith build right now, I'd be in heaven. Look at all this stuff. But I'm not. So I don't know. They do seem to have biases. I mean, it doesn't have to be like the exact same weapon, but just... The same sort of stats, I guess, but just better. Um. Might be able to get to Nagakiba without murder. Rivers of blood. I know you have other dex weapons. I don't know, honestly. I know you guys wanted me to do more health, so I'll do some more health. I'll put dex to 30 just because that looks nice. Um... Oh, that's all I could do, because it's getting really, really expensive. What is this murder? You keep saying murder. What do you mean? Trying to remember where it was I fought that, uh, what is this? Oh, that's where she wants me to go? The rolled route. Hey, I already beat that guy. Right? Isn't that where that, that jerk on the horse was guarding? Or was that up here? That might have been more up here. But I feel like we had been working in this direction. Uh, you didn't want to murder Yuta for the Naga Kiba. I'm saying through no action of your own, it may just happen to be available. Oh. Uh, where is that again? Lake Ag Hill. Lake Ag Hill. Okay, where do I go to to see if that is indeed... Is this the Lake Ag Hill? This is a lake. Is 
Southwest of the lake of in Limgrave. Is this Limgrave? I never freaking know what place is what. Is this Limgrave? Press triangle. Oh. Ag Hill Lake South, right? Heck if I can remember where we started at this point. Front ruins. Well, I don't know how to get there from here, so. Is that him? Oh, that is him. Okay, I'll just go from here then. Alright, he was under the bridge downtown where he drew some blood. He looks, uh, normal to me. Can I just buy it off of him? Don't be a fool. Oh, he doesn't sell stuff. Don't be a fool. I'm not gonna murder this guy. All he, he's ever done is warn me about a thing. Maybe I could fight the thing now. Is it this way or that way? It's funny, he tells me, he warns me that I don't know which way. This way, I'm guessing, because it's like a lake. I can complain. Because the game should just give me, like, why, why do I have every other type of weapon? That is not ripe for the taking. That is murdering someone who did nothing to me. Is this where I'm supposed to go? Is this where he warned me? It says I could summon here, so I would think. See, I don't know. I, I don't know how I'm supposed to heed his warning where I don't even know what he's referring to. Is it in the other direction, maybe? I feel like I did this already. I'm pretty sure I already went through this area. Let me see. The thing down here would be taken already, right? Oh my god, this dog. Fuck, you can't do this. Fuck, please. Fuck's crazy, donated $2 trying to pressure me into violence. You, you, Fuck, here's a problem. You just told me that there's a way to get it without killing him. And, and now, 
you're trying to... That's like extra making me be like, oh, I don't even have to kill him to get the thing. Wait, you're saying I shouldn't go in here? What is this? Is this the dragon? Whoops! God damn it, I meant to... I meant to do this. That's a trap? This is early in the game, it can't be that bad, right? Is it really that bad? A cruel trick. Well, what it, what is the problem? Why is it so bad? You guys aren't telling me, so screw it. Okay. Alright. Yeah! Free money! Oh. It's a teleporter. Where does it take you to? Where, where does it take you to? Back already had me do one of these before, and it teleported me somewhere. If you go, you have to run to find your way out. You're saying you can't teleport out? Whatever, you guys are being too cryptic. I tried to find the dragon. Dragon was not showing up. I walked over all over that darn lake. All over that place the guy said not to go to. Crystal tunnel. You could just teleport out. Oh, you can't teleport now. Oh, that's stupid. Does this not teleport you out? I guess not. So the one part in the game that you can't teleport out of is what you're saying. What even did that? You? Well, the other one, I'm pretty sure I teleported out of. It's also a weird pe place to send someone. It's like, what if someone wanted to come down here? They don't know. It's like sending someone to Home Depot, like... Oh, I guess that's kind of an inconvenience. You sent me to a mine where there's potentially valuable stuff. That maybe I didn't mean to go to at this exact moment. Gilded poo. Oh no, it's smithing stones. Oh, and it's the one I needed! And you guys didn't want me to come here? I think you guys were just against me all along. Now I know the truth. Oh, you have to reach a grace. Like you can't do this. Well, can't you just look up when I'm able to get it? And then we could figure out if, oh, I literally have to do one thing that takes two seconds and then I could get it. Let you at least check for that first. That's exactly the smithing stone I need.
Doc's been trying to get me to kill him like s several streams ago. Oh, there he goes. A oh, freaking rune arc. Those are useless. I have like 10 of those and they don't do nothing. They don't do nothing. Guess I need to get up there now. I don't know. Is that where I came from or is that a new place? Oh, no, new place. Ow. Ah. This guy has more health than uh, the average bear. The quick trick is to insert your sword into his spine. Please. I don't think you guys understand. I played Knights of the Old Republic when I was younger. My cousin had it. And I played through like a, 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 a chunk of it, just normal Jedi. And then I, I made another profile and I tried to play through as a bad guy. And like the very first people I tried to be mean to, to like start building like Sith points, I felt bad and I couldn't continue it. And it was literally just I said something mean. I was like, you're weak and useless or something. And I was like, I can't do this. I don't have the heart. I can't see. I can't see. I can see. I can fight. Well, that was almost me. That was almost very chill. He gets his body hijacked by evil force, a prison of his own flesh, you'd be doing him a favor. You sound like the dirty cops from Better Call Saul, season one, episode six, titled 5-0. Jonathan Banks uh, playing the role of Mike Ehrmantraut, nominated for Best Supporting Actor of Emmys uh, 2015. Lost to Peter Dinklage of Game of Thrones that apparently wasn't even like a particularly good year for his character and even he was surprised that he won it and he literally went up and was like uh Jonathan Banks should have won this he literally said him by name Smithing stones, smithing so over here probably. Or were they like all in the chest? Yeah, the award stuff honestly is like just whatever. I mean, it literally that is what it is. It's just it's a club of people who just they just decide what they want to win, and that's all it is. And it's like we put more stock in it because it's the Emmys. But, how come I can't pick up that thing on him? I don't know. I don't remember where that was. Where the chest was. I just wanted to fight a dragon. A 
Oh, here we go. Wow, that's exactly the one I need to... Yeah, that must have been what you were talking about. I don't know where I've been and where I need to go and all that nice stuff. Oh my god, there was a trap, there was an ambush. Is YouTube listening? Am I gonna be on a list? You should murder. Wow, I'm so hopeful. You should murder someone for me to repay your debt. What are you, the freaking mafia? Whoops. Wrong button. It happens. I'm sure you've all done that 40 hours into your playthrough, right? You walked up to an item and hit the hill instead. All of us have done that. Can you push a little bit faster? Is this gonna be a boss? That looks like a boss. Alright, Jelly. What the hell is that? It's a rock monster? Is the pincers in the front? Oh god, and it has electricity? I don't know about all that. I'm assuming it doesn't bleed, it's made of rocks. Just assuming. Could be completely wrong. Oh great. Ow. Ah, he's actually pretty hard too. So I'm probably gonna die. And then where's even the last checkpoint? Was there a stake? There wasn't a stake, was there? Oh, this is gonna suck. You really summoned sword here to convince me to just kill innocent people? Can I hit you after that? Good. Now what? Oh, don't. Oh, come on now. You're summoning... Okay. Okay. I thought I was away from you, but... Now what? Okay, can I hit you? Oh, you turn, of course not. How am I supposed to figure you out? I know after that I can go and hit you. Once. And then after that I can hit you, I think. Once. I can't see. Damn it, I thought I dodged it. I didn't know there was a grace site there. I thought you had to like fight this guy and then maybe get to the grace site. Nobody warned me about the big door that was going to lead to the boss that was going to kill me. <sighs> yeah, I mean, if I had full flash, I bet I could have killed him. Oh, this is so annoying. And I, I still can't leave, can I? This sucks. You guys refused to tell me what was in the thing. You just said it's a trap. And I was like, okay, what is it? And then your guys are like, I'm not gonna tell you. Cause you wanted me to open it. You know what you were doing. Just chug your freaking potion, god darn it. God damn, don't do another one. I can't even murder the guy now, I'm stuck in here. Yeah, it was fine up until I got to a surprise boss with no flasks, without a checkpoint. 
Everything else I was fine with. You you guys need to remember, my main annoyance is in having to do the same thing multiple times. That's what always gets annoying and frustrating. I don't mind going through a, a challenging part for the first time. Or if it's like a boss having to fight the boss over and over again. It's when I have to go through like stuff like this multiple times. That's what gets on my nerves. I think I went this way. I guess I never went this way. Oh, that's the door right there, isn't it? So I want to keep going the other direction. Okay. Another guy showed up. This looks like a dead end. Oh, I got a talisman of some sort. I don't even know what they were praying at. There's like no nothing here to pray to. Jay, my birthday's coming up. You know what would make a great present? Let me guess, murder. I found a talisman. Raises potency of incantations. Well, that's worthless to me once again. Like every other thing I find in this game. Have I beaten a single special enemy or found a special hidden thing or done any special, like any type of item that's shown up and actually like given me something useful? I feel like no. That leads to the boss, right? I don't know anymore. Oh my god, no, I was thinking cake, but the face that you thought of some... The f fact that you thought of something even better just shows how great of a friend you are. Do I have to fight? I think I have to fight this guy. I'm looking for the gray sight, demon sweat. I don't know where it is. That's the whole point. I am looking all over for it. And now Hoodie hates me. You guys constantly keep talking like I'm not a baby. When you just start talking like I'm a baby. This it? This way maybe? Take wall? No? Why would they not put the checkpoint next to the boss you're saying it's at the bottom of this place where the more enemies are that I didn't fight and it's like I might as well just go try to fight the boss all over again because these guys are just as likely to just be a huge pain in the ass and missed. Well, I wish he would have fell a little bit farther, but he could fall that far. Is 
Is it this way? go up and out. Who would have ever thought? And that will exit, I'm guessing. Looks like the damn rock place. What the hell's that? Oh. My stuff is with the boss still. It's gonna respawn everyone. So what's the point when the whole reason why I lost my health getting to the boss is because I have to go through all those guys. But you still have to go through all those guys to get back up to the boss, unless this is invisible wall or something. Nope, just looks like it would be. They put the checkpoint so far away from that boss. Run up ladder you kicked. Kicked? What the heck are you talking about? Is this a shortcut maybe? Nope, just more things that look like they're secret walls but they're not. can ignore those two guys now. Oh, but not this one. The secret one. He likes to secretly appear. Gee, I'm going on vacation soon. I just won't be able to relax without the comforting knowledge that you mur- Well, give me a second here. Let me fight this boss and then we'll talk about that. You went up the ladder, you kicked, so the Ur tree guided you anyways. Dude, I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't kick a ladder. All right. I don't know whether to wolf or jellyfish, so I'm just gonna jellyfish again. The wolves seem to get themselves killed quickly unless they're against very specific enemies. Ouch, that's an AoE. It's also an owie. Oh, here's another one where like the light attack just does, does just as much damage as the uh, heavy attack. Seemingly. I wonder if that also means that my sheath does good damage to him. Yeah, it does. That seems to be like a correlation, apparently. Every time like my light attack does just as much damage as my heavy attack, the sheep also does good damage. Did he just fall down? Hey! And he actually had the embers coming out of his head. Ow. That was dumb, I don't know why I did that from so far away, but... We now have knowledge. Ow. But, see him we learned from, that was satisfying. We got a bunch of crap from him, too, apparently. Oh, we got a, a, a bearing. Don't you give bearings to uh, Smithy Stone 7? Gravity Stone Trunk, a couple of them. And a Somersault Miner's Belt bearing. 
And this will take us right back to the entrance. Take me to the entrance, or I could go because that led to somewhere else. All right, Vax, since you want me to so bad, and I'm just gonna get the sword and then never use it because I'm done playing the game forever, probably. But since you've been helping me guide me through the game, and since you helped me with moderation and all that. It's the only reason I'm gonna throw away all my morals and taint my my good name forever. If that's what you really want so badly. But also I can't remember where it is. So maybe he doesn't die after all. Is it been Limgrave? Ruins. I already pumped all my upgrades into my base katana too though, so like I don't know. I feel like it's too late to be trying to get. If that gets one request before you start playing the game, can, can I get one? I mean, it depends on what the request is. Where's this guy at? Let him? Oh, where is he? That's not him. Oh, seaside ruins. Don't know where it is. There we go. I used all my low tier stones to upgrade my two katanas. By the way, in case any of you guys are worrying, I have class tomorrow, or technically later today, but it's a night class, so don't worry, I don't have to get up early or anything. Because I know you guys are real concerned. He should be under a bridge or something. Oh, there he is. Yep, I, up I updated both. Updated. I upgraded both. Katanas. Alright, I just want everyone to know that Fak is forcing me to do this. I did not want to kill this guy. I guess the fact that you eventually have to kill him. What, do you have to kill him? Am I, like, missing out on a cool boss fight where he mutates because of this, though? Your health is of no concern to us. Play the game, monkey. That's what Demon Switch just said to me. Can't believe this. Alright, so do I just hit him and it just starts, or what? I've never freaking attacked an NPC before. I'm not used to this. He probably bleeds. He is human. No. As in no boss, but hit him and- okay, here we go. I guess I should do this, I can't summon anything, yeah, might as well screw it. Oh my god, he's so weak, this is just sad. I feel so horrible. I must not die. I feel just like horrible human garbage. I can't believe I just did that.
I love boss fights, says Fack. It'll be great. You'll have a nice little boss fight. Oh my god. I must not die, he says, as I die him to death. I, I can't... Sword, I can't beat the final boss. There's a glitch and the door won't open. There's a bunch of thorns in the way. It's okay, Jay, that guy only had three kids, I'm sure. <sighs> okay, let's see this thing that we murdered an innocent for. Is it with my other katanas? Uh, Nagakiba. Um... I can't tell... Hang on. Unable to use this item effectively with present attributes unless wielded with both hands. Oh, I don't even have enough strength for it. So... My life was a lie, basically, is what I'm being told. Well, I two-hand unless someone bleeds, in which case I use both my katanas to make them bleed faster. So half the time I, I two-hand about, and then about half the time I dual wield. Look at how long it is. Let's see. I guess that's a little longer. Like an inch or so longer. I freaking killed an innocent man for nothing. I don't have it on. Oh. Oh. Wow, that is a lot longer. Jesus. That's like... I feel like I'm gonna give my left-handed katana a complex. It's just not right. Wow. I think I've seen people do that to me. But when it says like, so you have to dual hand it to like you to have its full stats. Like Jesus, that's a big freaking katana. That's, that's crazy. Uh... Um... Okay. Let's, let's see how much we can upgrade it first, and then I'll try to use it against the dragon, I guess, and maybe that can just be the end of it. Where the hell- oh, there it is. Wait, Jay, I think I know why you, and now we'll never know. I mean, if this is strong enough, I could use this as my two-handed. Uh, otherwise, it, the longness could help, though. There were a lot of times where I, I dodge roll and attack to a boss, and then they're just out of reach. Needs to slay a bloody god. Damn, is he trying to make the ultimate sword? It's you. Don't pay me any more. Just lay out your... Lay out your arms. Yeah, we're only going to be able to do it once. I knew it. Well. At least we could do it once. Jay, you didn't pick the wretch class at the start. That's the best one. Yeah. Yeah. See, if I, if, if I had 
like use the Nag Nagakiba f from the start and I was upgrading all my upgrades into that, but it's just, it's too late like I thought. I killed that guy for nothing. But let's at least check out what the wretches have for us now. I think should they just have uh I don't know actually. I just called them the wretches. I mean the husk. <laughs> well, it you by the time you told me fact, I had already put most of my upgrades into my swords though. So I think that's a bit of a moot point. Now what do they have for sell though? That's different. I can't even Explosive stone? Those are like grenades? I should have had those to begin with. Another talisman pouch? For 500? Holy crap! Oh, I never gave them the, the bearing. So now I can get these somber suns, but I can't use this on my... Can I use this on my... Can I use this on my, uh... Isn't murder a noble enough cause in itself? I don't know about that. Can I use a somber smithing stone too for my... It's probably not a special enough weapon, right? How's the dog eater holding up? I asked you not to do so. Be thankful of the whole serenity. It is all that keeps your debt. I asked you. Be thankful it is all that keeps... I don't have the remembrance of Morgoth. Why not? I killed him. Shouldn't I have it? Wait, don't I have a thing you say that I can, like, consume for more runes? You can trade for boss goodies or pop for more runes. Oh, sorry. I thought you said I don't have it. Okay, uh... Well, what can I get from it? Probably nothing that's actually useful for me, right? I've seen a lot of turtles, uh, sword. I don't know if any of them were popes or not. Talk to Lady Two Fingers. So they let you see what you trade for before you trade it? Because I don't want to just give her all those runes. And then it's a thing I never use. Well, you know what this means. The fingers. The fingers. At this turn, when they are finished, the fingers. If not tens of them, no matter for me. My. Oh, I want to burn the impenetrable thorns. I just had to ask her the whole time. Uh, what, what are, what do these two things do? Are you sure? This doesn't look like I get to see it before I give it. This looks like one of those things where you, you, you use a consumable and then you see it and then, and then you have to tell people online, this is what it was. And then other people know in advance what to do. Okay, so don't pick the receive power, right? So instead I should pick receive equipment. It's weird, receive power would imply that it's not gear, that it's just something that... No, I'm serious, I'm trying to make sure. Uh... 
You can draw out the power of a remembrance namesake. Each remembrance can provide one power. Once that power is claimed, the remembrance will be lost. Okay. So I can either get... I don't want to pick okay. I can't, I can't look down at what that stuff is. I can't tell what that... Okay. Morgoth's Cursed Sword. The... I don't have enough strength or dex to wield it. Which is insulting, because I've been increasing my dex, like, this whole time. Even though the attribute scaling has a strength of E. I don't think Fact said that at all, Sora. That seems very fishy. I just killed a man for his extra long katana and now you're trying to make me get a whole different weapon? I think Fact just wanted me to murder an innocent just for his sick pleasure. And I don't have enough arcane. I don't have enough strength, dex, or arcane. Not enough dex, stranger. And then what's this? Uses FP to unleash many waifus that chase down foes. But can I even use it? Is this just like an L2 move? I'm very far off. I need 14 strength, 35 dex, and 17. So that's, let's see here. I'm, I'm 10 levels away. That's like 300,000 plus runes. I'm very far off from that. You don't need 14 strength, two handling bypasses that. Okay, well I still need... The strength was just the one, the least amount, so that's like the least of my worries. Okay, so I need nine <laughs> levels instead of ten. I don't think I could squeeze them any better than this, because I haven't really been putting anything into other th stuff besides what I need for this sword anyways. I think I should just fight the dragon. Why am I even doing this stuff? This isn't... We're done with the game. I'm gonna see what she says about this though. Heavens forbid. That is not it. The burning of the earth tree is the rune of death. The forbidden Okay, you're boring me. All she does is say, fingies, I want my chicken fingies, mommy. No, I don't think any of my levels have gone to waste. Like, at first I thought maybe some of my... I put, like, a couple into strength, but now it's... At this point, it's like, well, it actually would be good to have the strength. Dragons on western half of the lake look for burning man gathering. Okay, this will be the end of it because we're going on almost seven hours now. Now I know why you guys put so much time into this game. It's not because it's good. It's just because it takes a million years to do anything. Suddenly it all makes so much sense. But what scares me is the fact that I know more people have 100%ed the game than have 
played it and stopped playing it. So apparently I'm gonna be the outlier on that. I don't know what happened to you poor people, what, what, what they did to you. I, I was saying one thing, like, normally I don't like that it takes up so much time, but I, I said earlier, like most of you heard already, but the one instance where this would be perfect is if for a long plane ride, like our, I may or may not be taking soon. Hint, hint. Nudge, nudge. Squeak, squeak. Poke, poke. Elbow, elbow. Noogie, noogie. Kick, kick. Punch, punch. Uh... Uh, tombstone pile driver suplex. Oh, a stone cord uh, sword key just sitting there. Why is this rat so strong? What the heck? Oh, it's because I'm using this weak sword that fact made me pick up. I'm sorry, sword. I mean, not sword, fact, but sword was encouraging it. Um. Yeah, that's more like it. Half doing so much damage to me. This dot. Oh, great, I'm stuck. I just wanted to fight a dragon. There we go. Who the hell are you? Get out of here. You guys are just coming up out of the woodworks to get on my nerves. What the. Sword that sword made sword pick up a sword. It's not weak, you are. Look, I knew that was gonna happen. I wasn't gonna have enough stones to actually make it good. So look for a burning man, you said, right? This has got to be the right area because there's a summoning. It's, it's it's allowing me to summon, but I'm not seeing a burning man. There's a guy on a horse over there. There's something really sparkly in the distance. I wonder if that's a safe spot. It looks like a safe spot. Apollo J. Wow, I don't think I ever hit this up right here. I could be wrong. Let's see. Oh, I guess I did. I'm confused. Well, like, I didn't even remember what was east or west anymore at that point. Let's just start over. Okay, so I, if I'm east of the lake right now, but that says north. So this way then, right? Hey, at least I got my flask back that I wasted. There's a bunch of crabs. I know, my brain keeps thinking though, and I've been in here multiple times, but uh... Whenever you say west, instead of thinking to use the compass, my brain thinks, oh, west relative to where I'm looking right now, no matter what. Wait, that's it, right? Is this a burning man? There's people with torches. Not in the ruins. Is that a burning man? Okay, all right, all right, just out of nowhere, huh? Sure. Jesus. Can a dragon bleed? Wow, that did a lot of damage. Wow, and his legs do just as much. Stop looking at those dummies. Those are just dummies. Okay, so he tries to distance you from him. Start turning his head, I figure. Not fast enough, though. Yeah, you just hit these guys anywhere, huh? Well, hey, maybe the head takes more damage, but I mean, the difference doesn't seem to be that big of a deal. Oh god, that went pretty far. That one was easier. Oh, 
Didn't I, like, on my first stream, I was heading towards this area, and you guys said, oh, no, Jay, turn him back. What if that's what changed my whole destiny? What if he's going to give me the ultimate spell that I could have been using this whole time? The fire really spreads out, even though he's shooting it on the water. What is this, water made out of gasoline? I'm using the good sword. Don't you worry about that. I switched before I even got to the boss. Oh, you get back here. You freaking killed my jellyfish already. Fight me like a dragon. Well, it doesn't look like he bleeds, so maybe I should just start two-handing. Alright, come on. It's weird that you can- there we go. Yeah. It's weird that you can target different parts of like a giant, but not the dragon. You'd think it would have like the same sort of system going on. There we go. Wow, dragons aren't as scary as I thought. They just look scary. Of course, I'm probably way over leveled for that. Dragon heart? Alright, five of those. A new dry kind of power is available at the Cathedral of Dragon Communion. What is that? What the hell is the Cathedral of Dragon Communion? Oh, really? It wasn't. I was trying to. I swear I was trying to change the lock on, but that thing's just finicky sometimes, isn't it? Uh, well, anything else I should do before I, I finish playing forever? He was not vibing with his friends. He showed up. He crushed them all. Were they, like, worshipping him? And he just came and he was like, Lol. Lol, you guys prayed to me and I crushed you. Like, it almost looked like they were doing like a ritual. Yeah, they're into that, not your place to judge. What on earth are you talking about? It's always been my dream to be crushed by a dragon. It's all I've ever wanted. Duradan. <laughs> Back is like adamant that I don't even bother, but can I just go to him right away? Is it someone I could just go right to? Should I just give it a shot anyways? Demon Sword, I don't think I could ever go to a Dark Souls game after this because I jump attacks so often and I don't know if the jump attacks even work in the same in Dark Souls, I doubt it. Because I know there's no jump button art. There isn't really like a dedicated jump button. <sighs> Southeast most uh, Khalid area. Um, oh, I could level up off of that actually, I think. into decks again. I like when my swords get stronger. If he has don't lift in lake, then Radon is there. Dine lift. Tons of people mention the Radon festival and it's really unclear which one is the one that triggers it. I don't know, know what a festival is. Just re-rent the game in a month. 
All right, sword, you have a good dinner. I'm getting kind of hungry myself. I'll try this Rodan thing real quick. I don't. I, I won't commit to beating him. If he really seems like ridiculous, I'll just say forget it. But I should look uh, southeast of the Khalid area. So where's the Khalid area, first of all? There's Khalid. Southeast of this area. So like down here. Oh, well, that makes sense. Look, I haven't even explored that much. Do I just keep heading? No, the castle. He's in the freaking red scarlet, scarlet mask of red death area. Scarlet letter. The metamorphosis. <laughs> Oh, I remember you. Can I do anything now, or are you just pointless? If you're wise, you will leave in my flesh. I have the cure for that, but if you don't want it, then okay. Oh, this castle? You're saying I need to come to this castle? Go to the impassable bridge. Is this an impassable bridge? Oh, you're right. The entire area is just the arena for Radon. Oh, I'm guessing that means it's a horse fight. So that's why Beck didn't want me to do it. I, I think he's right then, if that's the case. We know how I feel about horse fights. Oh, do I use this? Is this one of those things where you guys said don't touch it? I'm usually told not to touch these things. Um, okay, I mean, that's barely east, let's be honest. This is more east. This is much more east, southeasty, if you ask me. Alright, here I go. Oh, skipping BS, I love that. I mean, which er part of this game don't I have trouble with? Red Main Castle. Wait a minute, wasn't that that one boss that I fought? Red Main Lion or something? Oh god. So I just keep going straight up this way? Halo. The light tricked me because it went into the wall. I don't need to rest, do I? Wow, that last level up took like almost all my runes. Perfect. Now I don't have to worry about picking them up again. I'm guessing I have to go through this stuff, yeah? These look like ghosts. It's not letting me lock onto them. Oh, they're actually friendly for once. What the hell? You're that werewolf guy that's on the loading screen all the time? I was wondering when that was gonna happen. As a fellow combatant, allow me to introduce Very eloquently myself. sounding, Life. I didn't expect that. Warrior. Now, we find ourselves pitted against Radan. Once the strongest of the demigods, the way ahead is pleasingly simple. A path forged by sword and fang. Swords in this game? What if we were to say combatant? 
Nothing to do but wait. He didn't say hmm the first time I did he? Hello. Welcome. This is interesting. Is it just dead guys? Who's talking? Is someone up there? Radon, mightiest demigod of the shattering awaits you. Ah. You came. Oh, this guy, he was talking about this place, wasn't he? I thought I might find you here. Dude, no way, can he, is he like a guy, an, is he the NPC summon for this boss? That would be great, because we found him. other than General Radan himself to think. I could face a great champion of the shattering. He's quivering at the thought. But the fear be sure to get a good bond. I, I am Fist Alexander. Be sure to get a good bond. I... Everyone in this room is an NPC summon? Jesus. How does that work? But that includes, like, this guy wouldn't have shown up if we didn't save him, right? Yeah, I, I, I vaguely remembered him talking about some type of, like, championship, like, of fighters, but I, I didn't think it was something we would actually see. I thought he was just... Talking out of his pot. Are you good and prepared, young chum? The festival begins. Wait. That'll start the boss fight, I'm guessing. Let me let me look around real quick. I acknowledge your anti radon. Hey, that's the kind I needed. Funny how facts are always trying to keep me away from those level 5 stones hmm. really makes you think can I jump down here for fun wow 7 hours uh so but okay are you good the festival Doesn't immediately Before start it, eh? Begin, allow me to paint you the full what? picture. Cutscene? Horse. Old horse dragging dead master. Masters. That horse has a big hand. Oh, that's not General the horse. Is, it? is cursed ever to wander. Like a freaking orc from the inside by Melania's scarlet rot, his wits are long gone. So he shall be dead soon, is what you're saying. That should help. Ugh. Now he gathers the corpses of former friends and foes alike, gorging on them like a dog. Yeah, why does this guy get a freaking like? Non-gameplay cutscene outside of the area you're in. But now we must make merry. Who broke into the oh, office to make this part? Champions, the rebels oh, it's down there. The celebrate. What's over here? He stopped talking for some reason. I want to make sure I. Uh, See what's over here before I go through the fog door. Spending stone six. Take the elevator. Which way is the elevator? Fog door is not the boss. Oh. Kind of changed the rules up a bit, didn't they? I don't know where the elevator is, though. You will find the field general. Is he not gonna finish saying what he said? Holy. Okay. I'm right next to the elevator. But you don't think I should like go check out back there first or no? Oh, is this it?
I don't know where the elevator is. Is this the where the elevator is this way? That is an elevator. I feel like if I wasn't told that, I would have just went in and solved that. I don't know. You made me think I was going to miss something. Like I was already going this way. Because I thought the, fo the fog door was the boss, so I was like, okay, I better check out this area first, then I'll go to through the fog door. Oh, you used that teleporter to get to the boss, I'm guessing. To get across this water. Yes, yes, I know what you're gonna say. It's alright, I activated this, that'll help. These are like extra. Okay. There's like, there's more over there too. Hey! Alright, so he's way over here. So I'd say, I would think this is a horse battle. Sure feels like it. I can't summon my jellyfish though. Ow. Okay. We hit him a time. Yeah, how would you hit him not on the horse? Because he's moving around awful quick. Is there another summon right here? Jesus, you could just summon so many people to come help. Someone died already. Poor guy. Is he riding on a on a tiny horse that's too too small for him? Ow. Well no, there's no like summon thing here, it looks like. Or can it does it not matter? Yeah, no, see it doesn't let me. Oh, he was weakened at that point. Damn. We could have did stuff to him. But I wasn't ready for it. Okay. I wonder if this guy bleeds. I wonder if this guy's like Superman or not. I don't know what he's gonna do now. I don't know what, what, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Greenhorn died. He's a freaking meteor asteroid. He really is riding a tiny horse. That's so silly. at me, but I feel like it's going to happen eventually. Never? Who's the praying person over there? What the... F I am so confused.
Oh, you can summon them again? Really? Yeah, that would help. Uh, let me see if I can find them. I don't know. Oh, it was right there. Did I just zoom ahead? How the hell did that happen? Did you guys see that? I like zip zoomed. Wow, I didn't, like, I wouldn't have known that because I don't think you're able to do that. But usually you're not in the same place to summon them, I guess, right? So how would, how would I know? I guess I missed one right there. Or did it just barely fade away? That's weird. Oh god. Lock on to him. Darn it. I'm trying to catch up to him now. <laughs> That's so pathetic. he doing now okay yeah I didn't expect that honestly you guys die already need more people so he takes his attention off of me I hope I where'd he go Where is he? Oh no, I don't know where he is. Where is he? There he is. Oh god, I was like looking away for a second. I'm I'm dumb. Shouldn't have did that. I started looking at the chat. See if someone knew where he was. Oh, my horse is dead, and I can't bring him back, so that sucks. Wait, is that going to heal me? Did you heal me? It'd be a lot cooler if you did. Hey! What did Fack say? Fack! Against me this whole time. That's the first big boss I've ever been on my first try. Because you have a million people helping you. It's like the cheapest, cheesiest thing. It's like Bayonetta all over again. Back was actually misjudged a thing. Yeah, no, that was interesting. Like, oops, I put my controller down. Um, like, don't get me wrong, I was really confused through most of the fight, but you have so many people helping you. That bus did not take you 30 tries, fact. Let's, let's calm down. I don't know, I think that might be a good place to wrap up. How could we end on a possibly higher note than that? I beat a big boy. Oh my god, my horse is dead still, so I can't, uh... Yeah, I heard the same thing, Demon Sweat, like... He was really, really hard, and then they... I guess they accidentally nerfed him in a patch. Hello. Good job, we did it. What a sick way to fight. Hey mate, the glory of the class is shared. Baradan, and you, and then a falling star. I can't fathom how Radan was holding back something of that scale. He was a living legend. 
Well, it's time I left. The wheel of fate has been. If it's on the cards, you are a final. Dude, if I would, yeah, I would definitely summon these guys again. Hello, you okay, buddy? Ah, hello there. Look pretty messed up. It was a battle marvelously fought. You are well and truly a champion, friend. I, on the other hand, am nothing but a croc. One hit was all it took to crack me, and for my insides to come spilling out. After that, I, I hid like a coward. No, no, you such, helped. I can hardly stand to face one such as you. You helped a lot, don't... Uh, but don't you think I've given up just yet? As luck would have it, there's a veritable mountain of warriors' bodies right... If I can just squeeze this bunch down inside me, I'll be a... What? That's a thing? The bodies found here are... A who could expect any less from the very warriors who... Mm. Just you wait and see, friend. Just you wait. <laughs> can we, like, help the him? Find them? found who could expect... Mm. Those two are the really important ones. The other ones were all ghosts. <laughs> Demon Swiss said, Fact the type to kill Jarman. If he knew Jarman had like a... A quote-unquote really cool item that Fact doesn't actually need, then yeah, then he would kill him. Kill the Jarman, says Hoodie. How could you? Can we actually help him out or is that just like flavor text? Also, you know what I like wasn't thinking about this whole time until my cousin told me? He said, how come you don't have anything equipped to your up D-pad? This whole time. I could have put like my horse up there or something and I just had- Because usually I just use my potions on my horse. Those are the only things I really use. And this whole time I didn't think about that at all. It says Rodan's here for some reason. That's kind of weird. It's for spells only. Oh, uh, okay. Well, thanks for sticking by, Demon Sword. I appreciate it. I think that was a pretty good ending. I think this is a good place to wrap it up. We beat one of the big bosses somehow. Through some, I think I was probably a little over leveled, but aside from that, like wow. What did? How much runes did he give us? I wonder. A yeah, a good amount. Yeah, we were we came in with zero, if I remember correctly. So that's a straight up like seventy thousand runes. And we could buy Rodan's armor, which might be good for me, actually. Who knows? I want to cap this off at 40, just because it looks good. And then, um... I don't know what else. It doesn't matter, because we're wrapping up right now, probably. So... <laughs> ring, Elden Ring, <laughs> relax. Yeah, the title is just devolved into nonsense. Fact wants me to buy the armor. I could level up one more thing, but I don't know what yet. All right, we'll go buy the armor real quick. Just to see what it's like. See if I'm even strong enough to wear it. Yeah, honestly, I like how strong my swords are getting. That's why I've been like putting more in decks recently. Like I like just being able to, especially enemies that you're only able to really hit like once. Like, very infrequently. It's good to have that extra power. Oh, armor doesn't have stat requirements. That's surprising. Whoops, why did I come here? Why did I come... Wait. Wait, you said you could purchase the armor. So would, would that be from them? Actually... Don't know where you're meant to purchase the armor from. I guess I should have asked.
Lady next to two fingers. Okay. Lady finger, lady finger, where are you? Here I am, here I am, here I, here I, here, 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 here. You? It's maybe thousands. So here you don't you don't give up anything. It's just you have the option to buy it, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. And I'm pretty sure this is all better than my current stuff, right? So I might as well just get it all. Um. Queen's Crescent Crown, that funny Link hat. Alright, I'm gonna... Boom. I don't want that. Bell Omen Cloak. Oh, that must be the Margo. There we go, Lion Armor. Bracelets. Radon's Gauntlets. Queen's Leggings. I have all this like badass armor and then we're just wearing like a queen's leggings. Or Radon's Greaves. Graves, however it's pronounced. We have just enough for everything. Now go forth. Let the words of the fingers guide you. You give up individuality upon buying Radon armor. A lot of people wear it, I'm guessing. Hey! This is literally just the first set of armor that's just better than the armor I've had for a thousand years. So what do you, what do you want from me? I can't... What am I going to pass it up? What am I not going to wear the better armor? Look at this. Oh my god, it's so much better in every way. Wow. In every single way. Wow. Wow. I could have had all this, all this time. All this extra armor. I'm probably invincible now at this point. Oh well, you could actually see my face now. That's a bonus, kind of. There we go. That looks like me, doesn't it? More or less. I didn't put that much time into the... Ring slot. I'm under a heavy load, aren't I? Or am I not? There's medium load. Yeah, I'm just on a medium load, so I'm good. I think. Um. Wait. The pouch. It's much heavier, but it doesn't actually affect me. I, I had enough to support the weight all along. And I do have the arsenal talisman. Do I have to use the, the talisman pouch to make it create a new talisman? Where Where is that darn pouch at? Pouch. Here, pouch. Here, boy. Pouchy pouch. Oh. Oh, here it is. I see. There we go. Um. Charge attacks. That would be good just for killing like enemies that are asleep. Because I use charge attacks on those mostly. Once again, I don't know how much I crit, if ever. I feel like charge attacks are either the final hit of a chain attack, if I get the... I do get to use that on people who, like, flinch. So it would be good for the moon lady. Sorcil. 
Critical attacks are backstabs and stagger pun- Oh, I thought it was just a random chance of getting a critical. Gotcha. That could be good. I don't know. Doesn't matter too much because this is going home. Uh, home. This is going back tomorrow. What did? You, what would you say? I'm like halfway through the game though. So if I rented this again, it would take another forty hours or so, I guess. Green ring. I don't think I have any rings. I wonder if this counters my. Uh, like, I have so much defense that, that does, like, counter this. Because, I don't know, it says increases damage taken, but by how much, though? Because I can't not worry about stuff. defense at it doesn't it's not dropping oh, I don't know. It's supposed to be increasing my stats but my weapons aren't getting any stronger so what's the point like it says my Oh, hang on. Here's how you check, right? There we go. Okay. You think that unequipping it would, but whatever. Right. Whoa, what the hell? Did you see that? Was that a glitch? I had like every effect in the game all at once building up for a second. Hmm. Strange. All right, well. Let's see my final tally. I think it's around 40 something hours. Um, what level did I get so I don't forget that as well? 76. That feels really high to me. I feel like that should be like end game. Um, what am I doing? Oh, there we go. Almost 40 hours. We got close. Alright guys, the end of Elden Ring for the foreseeable future. I need to start doing other stuff. I'm sure there's people that are like, can you just finish that already? Can you play good games? Well, I'm glad that we finished on a high note. Near the start of the stream, yeah, we had some troubles, but we fought that one boss in the mines, killed it on our second try. We fought that dragon in the lake, and we killed it. And then we fought a freaking big boss for Dan. Can you believe it? So yeah, I don't know, maybe one day I'll rent this again and we'll finish it, but I think it's time for me to move on to something else for now. I've put a lot of time into this. And I don't know, I kind of have the same feeling as when I started. Um, there's a lot of ups and there's a lot of downs in this game. It's just, you know, which one are you going to get today? You know? I will beat it as a level one homunculus. <laughs> well, good luck with that demon sweat. Now to decide what we're going to rent next time. Yeah. Alright guys, you have a good night. I hope you have a good start of your, your week. And... I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you for your patience and with me going crazy and sticking by me going insane. I appreciate it. Okay. Good night.